Yes, it's right. Welcome, lizard folk and gnomes, bugbears and bards, <laughs> to Rated RPG, the actual play show slash podcast, uh, where we play Dungeons and Dragons, Baldur's Gate, Descent into Avernus. I am your dungeon master, Emery, and uh, here I have gathered four of the greatest comedians and Dungeons and Dragons players to ever have graced this fine earth. To my left, I have Mr. Jason Stevens. Hello, I will be playing Coslo Ferngrove, the Wood Elf Druid. Yes, and what a fancy Wood Elf Druid he is. And then to his left, Aaron Yonda. I will be playing Debobby the Enjoyable, a Fire Genasi Artificer. And across the table is Brad Knight. Uh, I'll be playing Glovejub Gregrom, a Bugbear Ranger. And finally, to my right is Dion Green. I will be playing Race the Roaster, a Lightfoot Halfling Bard. <laughs> Fantastic. Are you guys ready Very. to start yes, sir. episode yeah. one? Let's yeah. Let's do it. All right. Cool. Let's go ahead and dive right the heck in. Oh, and now it's real. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, you better have your dice ready, sir. Ooh, Jason blessed me, so. All right. Yeah, can you believe it? You... Dion showed up to his very first session of D&D with no dice. God, yeah, mm. amateur hour over here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that may be the purest first game ever, though. Because <laughs> if you show up with dice, like, you have to at least wonder, like, did you have those before? <laughs> have, you... Are you really a noob or are you hustling yeah. me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, sir, what are these? Oh, oh it's going to be great. The, mm. di the dice will, your dice will find you. Oh, man. True. That sounds like I'm going to fall into like a lake and just come up with dice now. I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody calm down. We're going to start now, for real. You ready? Yes, ready. sir. <clears throat> okay. Now, you guys are supposed to know each other before this starts. And the reason why you know each other is there is some sort of shared sin or shared crime mm. that all four of you guys are implicit in. Or that's the word for it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so let us now take the time to figure out what exactly that is. I once sold a counterfeit Aerosmith t-shirt in front of uh, <laughs> concert hall. <coughs> but I gave pro pro portion of profit to Ben. So <laughs> it's a tribute. So it's not tribute. All, maybe not all bad. <laughs> Um, have you guys, <coughs> excuse me, um, thought at all about maybe some just general vague ideas about what you would want this crime to sort of be about? I, I thought that we could we could all be in on a, the same kind of conspiracy to maybe uh, maybe like overthrow someone we all agree mm -hmm. is in a position of power who shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. But I don't know how how bad that got. I don't know. I didn't have any thoughts no. on like, did we kill somebody? I mean, if it's a great sin, that's pretty much up there on great sin. So, was it, um, <clears throat> we we just wanted about the Flaming Fist, right? Maybe we wanted to take out a Flaming Fist who was so much of a dick, but, you know, that it's supposed to be untouchable. I don't even know if we'd be strong enough to take one out. Yeah. We could, like, <coughs> well, maybe they fell into a pond or something and we just mm. didn't save them. <laughs> <laughs> then Phil Collins wrote about it and here we are. Yeah. What is the, uh, what's the... <laughs> What's that place, the, one, the Wonders place called? Uh, the Halls of Wonder. Halls of Wonder. I mean, I could see myself wanting to take someone at the Halls of Wonder mm. out to in order to further my goals. Ooh. So I'm going to go ahead and You stupid to lump of fuck. <laughs> Oh, that was a sound alert. <laughs> that would be a good awesome. thing for Jason to have in the audio. Yep. That would be really loud. <laughs> yeah, because my my, cons my concern with that is that like it would cover up something. I wouldn't maybe catch it like right now, so I wouldn't know what was just said. And if it's too loud, that it covers it up. That would be my concern. Yeah, well, we'll figure that out. Okay. Um, okay, so I've actually switched it over to the uh, secondary view, so that uh, folks watching, you can now take a look at roll twenty. This is going to be more handy when we're uh, doing like combats and whatnot. But I can also show you guys any sort of uh, documents that I have. And so this right here is one of the, um, you know, recommended uh, uh, sort of 
uh, sins or crimes or whatever. This is conspiracy. Um, so I'll just read it out loud for everybody. The characters are all that's left of a group that strove to change Baldur's Gate and failed. Now the city's leaders or other powerful figures seek to stamp out the last motes of their movement. Perhaps they're rebels or members of a union or some clandestine organization. Regardless, the rivals don't get where they are by being oblivious or merciful. Um, so you want us to just roll a die? We, I mean, we could, Ooh. but we also could just look at these things, and if any of them like really kind of strike your fancy. Okay. Um, and this isn't all of it. There's also some other ones, too, so let's just take a look here. Oh, I'm always up for random. Yeah, I know you are. I like yeah, random. Uh, I'm good with random. <laughs> You're good. You guys want to just yeah. fucking random it? Random it? How many? Okay. How many others? You can are do it? the roll, right? <clears throat> so there is conspiracy, murder, theft, and failed coup. So that's a dear d4. Ooh. So let's go and roll oh, a d4. Emery's gonna do it online. Watch. You want me to roll a d4? Yeah, watch oh. it. Oh. Roll for the mace. <laughs> okay. In the future. Y'all ready for this? Yep. Yeah. Da, da, da. Womp. Three. Three. Okay. Hey. Too long has the guild monopolized control. No, 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 no. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. We're looking at three, four different categories. Oh, okay. So I roll a three. That is murder. Mm. Ooh. All right. Okay. Murder in Baldur's Gate. Dang. S Damn, homie. There's blood on the characters' hands. They all had a part to play in a murder, justified Ooh, or not. Ooh, I like it. Shared guilt, coercion, and fear kept the secret between them. Did they kill for justice or just for the thrill? To find the particulars of the murder, either by letting the players craft their own or by rolling on the murder details table. And so let's let's just let's just roll it out. Let's, let's do, do it. it. Roll it. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll roll again. Here we go. D6. Four. Okay. The first step to healing is admitting you have a problem. The second is seeing your abusive dealer bleeding out on the floor. <laughs> Joplin of the tea house of the same name had it coming. And you haven't felt the moonflower itch since. So Joplin is a guy who runs a tea house, and he uh, would sneak moonflower, which is an addictive substance, into his special brew of tea. So moonflower one... is very useful for inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> you get many times to come up with new ideas. Until that. I am familiar with moonflower from in the wilderness of nature, you see, and I would yeah. sometimes deliver some moonflower, mm. uh, but I would never do take it. Mm. I've heard that licking the leaf of the moonflower is very is very interesting. It is. Confirm? Yes, confirm. <laughs> I can confirm. Can confirm. <laughs> but it sounds like Joplin was putting the moonflower inside of me without my consent. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Asshole. Well, maybe you know, maybe all of you, maybe just one of you. We're not really sure. Let's mm -hmm. let's uh, roll on the next little table here. So, <clears throat> there we go. Um, roles in the murder. Each character plays a role in the murder, determined by rolling on the <coughs> murder character roles table or choosing the appropriate entry. So, again, <laughs> do you guys want to roll randomly or pick? Uh, should we each have our own? That that makes sense. Okay. That makes okay. sense. I can roll. I'm gonna roll a d4 right now. Not my little right. dice tower. Uh, okay. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> First person <laughs> to shout the number murder. gets it. I'm the murderer. Ah. You're the murderer. That makes a lot of sense. One. I'm the instigator. Dion is a one. Oh yeah. Oh uh, yeah. No 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 no. He already got oh, murder. Oh right. Oh. Okay. So one. I got each. instigator. You got instigator. Yep. Oh okay. So. <laughs> Which one did you get, Jason? I got the four. I got the liar. All right. Then I'm the bystander. <laughs> Yeah! There we go! <laughs> Hell yeah! You are Phil Collins in the air. <laughs> okay, that's great. Oh, it makes sense go. that due to my intelligence that I would be the instigator. Mm. So, Glubjeg, you, via a blade, a shove, or a deliberate inaction, took a life. So how did you take this man's life? Blade? <laughs> blade? Okay. I, I do not like to be out of control of myself. Mm. Makes sense. Now I know bugbears are typically, you know, stealthy. Did you sneak into his house at night? Did you wait for him to lock up in the evening and stalk him and murder him in an alley? I w I waited inside of his tea pantry. <laughs> 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 he he reached for the Darjeeling, <laughs> right in the throat. <laughs> awesome. Fantastic. Okay. And then I took the moonflower. <laughs> All right. Yeah, of course. You know, spoils of war, right? Yes. Now, that is an interesting story because apparently there was a bystander who could have prevented 
this from going down. Yeah. What's the story uh, there? The reason is for the same, <clears throat> because my mother ended up dying from an addiction to Moonflower. Sure. And that's why I ended up being a street urchin. And so anytime you can get a dealer off the streets when they're peddling the hard stuff, I want them gone. Okay. All I right. told him, do not come in pantry with me. <laughs> <laughs> so were you in the pantry too? I mean, like, what, what happened there? Did, did, maybe... So listen, I, I always followed the big guy around because he's clumsy, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then right when he was starting to get to the action, I was like, oh, this is happening. And I couldn't I couldn't just let him be there alone, you know? You need a friend to support you in all things in life. Okay. Yeah. So you guys knew each other before the murder happened. So yeah. maybe... Yeah. I'm yeah. kind of a street urchin, you know? I yeah. hop around and you always want to be friends with the biggest guy in the room. So. For sure. And yeah. there's a lot of really kind of rough and tumble taverns and whatnot mm-hmm. that you probably uh, frequented for work and such. You probably met each other there and uh searching for information I want. Yeah. And like did you drunkenly like talk about wanting to murder uh this guy and then uh, you kind of overheard it and went yeah, with well, him? Or? So he, he, had, he, he gets this like twitchy look in his eyes when the murder's coming. Yeah. And I knew he had to direct it somewhere. <laughs> and the best thing I could do is I, I had heard about a guy who was dealing some moonflower. And he was like, flower! And there we go. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, okay, cool. Part bystander, part instigator, actually, is kind of what it sounds this like. Is, this, is the, this is the ironic part. I probably would not have killed him if I wasn't high on moon. <laughs> okay. All right, uh, next is instigator. This is uh, Aaron. Yes. So you were the architect. <laughs> you were the architect of this man's demise. I was. I was also using the drugs. I was next to him, and I said, <laughs> and and Joplin tried to steal my wrench. Oh, oh. Which, so the moon. If you know me, you know that that's not an option. Mm. The wrench is me. Mm. It is my magical wrench that represents the, the, the token of my work. Okay. Respect. I respect. It's what I use. Why would Joplin want to take your wrench? I don't know, but well, and it doesn't matter. <laughs> I freak out when when my wrench isn't near me. Mm. Okay, what's what's? And so I, I I knew that he might do it because he's he looked like one of those mercenaries. All right. So what's your alignment again? Neutral. Neutral. Okay. Really, I just told him to get my wrench back, but he was high on drugs. <laughs> oh, okay, I gotcha. I gotcha. <laughs> This is all starting to come together. And so you he were, killed him. I didn't want that to happen, but I didn't really care if it did. You really angrily kind of stumbled into a bar yelling about Joplin stealing your wrench. Yes. Um, you kind of overheard it, and you were like, oh, Joplin, that's that tea guy with the, the moonflower. I fucking hate drug yeah. dealers like him. <laughs> And then, of course, he was already looking to murder somebody because he was all high and messed up. <laughs> and so you just kind of like and Rach directed him that, that always. way. Okay. All right. So now we finally get to the liar. You covered this all up. Why? How? Well, okay. So the flaming feast. First of all, I yeah. know about all of this because I talk to so many people. I know everybody. And uh, so Flaming Fist come to me, say, you there, you know what happened? You see all this uh, murder, death? Uh, no, 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 no. Because Flaming Fist, they come in like guns ablaze. What is a gun? Don't know. <laughs> uh, come with swords are swinging, you know, like <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, going to hurt people. Innocent people will die. Of course. So I say, uh, let's just end the bloodshed. Uh, Coslo, cover it up. Nobody know nothing. Okay. All right. He's for the greater good. So you actually just kind of heard that this went down. You weren't a, You weren't there. Uh, um, no, it was. Uh, I knew. CP, I see people go in okay. to shop, and then I hear blood curdling, gurgling scream, <laughs> and then I go, "Oh, I know what happened." <laughs> and then I say, "No, no, no." <laughs> okay. Great. Fantastic. Now, <clears throat> this shared murder ah! crime that you guys have committed uh, will be important in the future of this campaign. And I love what you guys came up with. That's fantastic. Also, uh, Joplin's first name was Jenna Is. Mm. <laughs> Jenna <laughs> Is Joplin. <laughs> yes. Welcome to Baldur's Gate, a veritable nest of rats and vipers clinging to the rocky slopes overlooking the Kyanthar River. From their high perches in the upper city, the local nobles, known as the Patriarchs, gaze down, gaze down with veiled contempt upon the common rabble in the grimy lower city, which hugs the foggy harbor. 
The whole of Baldur's Gate reeks of blood, crime, and opportunity. One can easily fathom why pirates and traitors are drawn to this place like flies to a carcass. Following the river further east would eventually lead you to Elturel, the capital of the holy land of Eltergard, or at least that was the case until a few days ago. The flood of refugees from Elturel has gotten worse since news first arrived that the city has fallen. Everyone is saying Baldur's Gate is next, but no one truly knows who or what has claimed Elturel. The Patriarchs pay a mercenary army called the Flaming Fist to protect their interests in Baldur's Gate, and by extension, the city itself. The Flaming Fist has gained even more power since their charismatic leader, Alder Ravenguard, claimed the title of Grand Duke a few years ago. Apparently, Ravenguard is missing. In his absence, the Flaming Fist has sealed the city's gate to staunch the flow of refugees. No one is allowed in or out. All of this was brought to your attention shortly after you were drafted by the Flaming Fist to help defend the city. Your orders are to speak to Captain Zaj at the Basilisk Gate, which pierces the city's eastern wall and takes its name from the various statues that rest on its niches and perch atop its battlements. Unseen beyond the sealed Basilisk Gate, a dirt road stretches through the outer city slums to the bridge known as Worms Crossing, then to distant realms beyond. Dozens of Flaming Fist soldiers are trying to control an angry mob of commoners eager to leave the city. Armed with only a vague description of Captain Zodge, a tall man with long black hair and a leather eye patch. It takes you a while to find him. A fight breaks out between soldiers and commoners, and you finally spot the one-eyed captain as he wades into the fray and begins throwing punches. Just another day in the City of Blood. I think we should uh, go and talk to Zotch, Captain. That would be a good idea. He'll probably listen to us if we uh, help him out with the punching. <laughs> I'm not a fan of punching these people. They're just running away. They won't shut up. It is no excuse to punch. I will not punch. I will wade in towards the captain and help him punch. <laughs> All right. The captain has actually gotten off of his uh, horse and is is just kicking a woman right now. Oh, actually, sweet. just some 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 lady kind of in kind of like raggedy clothing. Okay. Uh, who, as far as you can tell, hasn't really done anything wrong. But um, uh, I don't really just want to see a woman get kicked. I try to distract my calling out to the captain. <laughs> All right, so uh, you're going to try to persuade the captain just, to look yes, at you. Just like, hey, over here, Cap. You know, All one right. of those. Um, would that be a yeah. charisma check? Let's make a, a persuasion check. Do you uh, have that proficiency? He has uh, a plus five. And it's got the black dot next to it, so you're proficient. Awesome. Okay. Always means roll a d20. Oh. Yep. Dion is brand new to D&D. &D, so. I'm a baby, guys. First d20 roll ever. Hey, Ooh, trash. That's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but if he's got, if he's proficient in it, doesn't he get... Uh, he gets to add his proficiency bonus plus so, his charisma. So, so that would be eight. Is it? What? Um, he's not double he's, proficient. He rolled a three. It? He rolled a three. Yeah. Plus five is eight. Okay, got it. Okay. Got it. All right, so... You kind of uh, try to raise your voice yes. and, and get the captain's attention. <laughs> <laughs> your voice cracks a little bit. And actually, the woman who is kicking screams help at the exact same time. <laughs> so, uh, Oops. so yeah. But anyways, actually, uh, he's pretty much done with her. Oh. And the rabble has kind of uh, dissolved. Uh, and even the woman herself doesn't look like she's like too horribly injured. She gets off and she scurries away. I'll give her um, a little more kick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Well, the captain has noticed your uh, um, uh, violent tendencies and uh, looks at you <clears throat> right in the face. He says, Yeah, you. Well, what's your name again? I am Captain Gregorum. Captain... Uh, Glug, Glug, well, that's my last name. Captain Gregorum. Captain, <laughs> you can call me Captain Glugjig. All right. Well, Captain Glugjig. Captain of the Chill. I'm Captain Zodge of the Flaming Fist. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Um, who are you? What are you? What are you guys doing here? 
saw that you were uh, trying to scream for help. Yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> I, we were sent here to help because there's a lot of rabble and you needed some extra men. He's and all right. We have the extra men. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Fantastic. Great. Well, I'm glad you guys came here as a group. This makes it a lot easier for me. Um, the refugee crisis. This is Stoke Fears in Baldur's Gate. Stoke fears that we might suffer the same fate as El Terrell, of which nothing remains but a hole in the ground. Apparently. Our Grand Duke, Alder Ravengard, was visiting El Terrell on a diplomatic mission when the city was destroyed. Coincidence? I think not. The Knights of El Terrell called themselves Hell Riders. Few of them escaped the destruction and think we're somehow to blame for El Terrell's downfall. What a bunch of self-righteous rabble-rousers. We're arresting them on site, but that's left us shorthanded to deal with another problem. And for that, I need your help. You guys willing to help? What do we have to do? Well, uh, you have to do what I tell you. Mm. Uh, with regard to the Hell Riders. All right, well, you won't be dealing with any Hell Riders. Uh, oh. It's a little bit above your sort of pay grade, so to speak. Mm. I'm just going to need you to look after some uh, kind of more common killers. Look after? Well, look to eliminate. What's your pay? What's it pay? Well, if you get the job done, 200 gold coins each. I like that much money. Yes. Yes. That, should be, that should be very helpful, yes. Yes, yes. And you'll have my gratitude, which is somewhat more valuable. Okay. The gratitude of Captain Zaj. I've heard much about this. Have you? No. <laughs> What's your name? Son. <laughs> My name is Debobby the Enjoyable. Debobby the Enjoyable? That's right. That is... Who gave you that title? I, uh, my father, most likely. Your father gave you the title, The Enjoyable. Well, no, he gave me the Debobby part. <laughs> I didn't ask about your name, son. I find myself enjoyable. <laughs> well, I don't. I guess, I guess the jury's out on I don't need I don't need you to find me enjoyable. I will accept the job. All right. He's competent and all right. He's just a dipshit. I know this one. This one's reliable. Mm. To Bobby, you reliable or are you just enjoyable? I'm enjoyable and reliable. I'm adding another part to my name. <laughs> I'm now to Bobby the enjoyable and reliable. All right. To Bobby, Glubjeg, and you. Uh, I am Race the Roaster. Before I agree to anything, how did you get your eye to look so fucked up, Captain? Uh, well, do you want the whole truth, or do you want the story I tell the wenches at the taverns? Don't treat me like you're coming, Horace. I'm special. How did you get the eye, Cap? <laughs> that was pretty stupid. I actually walked into a, 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 a spike. Um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Not was, the laugh is your misfortune, of course, Captain. No, of course. I, I usually tell uh, I usually tell the wenches that I fought a bear. Oh, mm, that's a good story. I'm about yeah. to use that one. <laughs> uh, I'm all right. in. Here, what about you? You seem a little bit uh, uneasy about this. I am Coslo. All right, Coslo. Captain Zaj. Yes. Are you on board? Are you going to stop some killers? Maybe do some good for the city? Oh, yes, I will do good for the city. If it involves killing killers, maybe yes. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and take that as a yes. Give you some uh, <laughs> more information here. Ready? Hmm. Baldur's Gate has long been plagued by followers of the Dead Three. The gods Baneball and Mercool. I thought we had wiped them out, but apparently not. These purveyors of fear and death are taking advantage of the current crisis to commit murder sprees throughout the city. As my appointed deputies in this matter, you'll have license to kill these wretches on sight. Find their lair and wipe it out. Eliminate anyone who gets in your way and don't worry about collateral damage. Mm. Mm. If you do what I say, I will see to it that you each receive 200 gold pieces a 10-day after we stop receiving uh, reports of these murders. Mm. So we go and do the job, and then in 10 days, mm. if you n don't hear anything new, then you'll pay us. Indeed. Mm. Okay. What happens if something happens to you? I just want to get paid. Well, you get paid by the Flaming Fist. Mm. Okay. Won't, won't just be me. It'll go through. You'll have to go through some other channels. If but I don't give a shit, I'll be are, dead. Okay. If one of us dies, do we still get their two hundred? I guess their their family would be, would uh, the next of kin would yeah. get the two hundred. These three are my family now. 
Make a note of it. <laughs> <laughs> Buck bears are raised by the whole clan. So you're 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 next of kin for each other. All right, fair enough. One of you guys dies, the other ones will get the two hundred. Will will other members of the Flaming Fist know that we're what we're about, so they don't uh, mess with us while we're trying to do this? Yeah, and he uh, actually holds out a gauntleted hand, which has four bronze uh, badges um, that that basically. Uh, show that you are deputized members of the Flaming Fist. Mm. Temporarily. Excellent. I will be taking mm. these back as soon as the job is done. Uh, could I look upon your uh, identification just for or the notice to know when I'm speaking to an official uh, Flaming Fist? Like, do you have some sort of documentation that you guys carry around? Well, he himself is wearing a uniform, um, but, you know, uniforms can be counterfeited. Uh, he also has a badge that is not bronze; it's uh, silver, and it, it has the, displays the rank of captain on it. Um, are you going to press him for more specific uh, um, documentation than that? I, I was just wondering if there is any kind of uh, parchment that you may have on you that. <laughs> I know what this is for. You know what this is for. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I could also wait. I'm just thirsty. Yeah, I'm, no, I'm not in the habit of showing. No uh, worries, Captain. I respect your status. Yeah, I'm pretty well known around here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you really, if you really, really need to see my documentation, I guess you can go to the uh, the headquarters and <laughs> speak with a clerk there, and they may bring something up. I don't know. Thank you for this information. Yeah. That is all. <laughs> sure. All right. Well, I have one lead for you. Yes, sir. A few blocks from the Basilisk Gate, which is where we're at right now, mm -hmm. is Elf Song Tavern. A spy named Tarina hangs out there gathering rumors for the guild. You know the guild? Everybody knows the What's his spy name? Tarina. Tarina. T A R I N A. Sounds like breakfast food. <laughs> she owes me a favor, so tell her you work for me, Captain Zaj. Ask her what she knows about the Dead Three. And for the love of Balderon, be nice. Tarina has dangerous friends. You are very good with words and talking and talking to people. Thank you. I like to pride myself on it. I think you should be the one in charge of talking to Tarina. Deal. Everyone else, what you think? That's fine by me. If you need any ideas for what to say, I'm uh, you know what? I'm always open to ideas, my yes. friend. Come to me for ideas, or if you like to look at my wrench, <laughs> I will never touch your wrench. I know the rules. Do not. I would never. Barely look at it. Uh, as the smartest man in the group, how would you approach a Torina? Nicely. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Don't ask her for documentation. You goddamn right, I won't. First step. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I, 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 just, I can see now Dion literally asking everybody for all the legal documents. <laughs> How can you prove your use, sir? Do you happen to have a sample of your handwriting? <laughs> <laughs> just in case. I'll say right now, I'm not able to not loom over people. Then stand back, maybe against a wall. You'll seem less tall that way. Mm. I would stand next to you. Uh, yes. Good. I don't mind how you smell. Uh, I like you. That's a uh, you know out of out of character. Uh, that's exactly what I look for in a woman too. <laughs> Somebody who doesn't mind how I smell. <laughs> Or that you loom over her? <laughs> <laughs> or that I can see her legal documents. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, um, if you guys don't have any more questions, the captain says, All right, well, I'm needed elsewhere. Get this job done right. You can count on us. Yeah. We'll and uh, by the way, if you, uh, you just get out of here, if you just leave, try to skip town, uh, you will be hunted down, arrested, and executed. We have a mission. Why would we do that? Uh, well, you know, uh, some people just like to take the shiny badges and try to leave. Oh, that's not our group. No. Okay. Mission okay. is an honor. Good man. I like this one. Not so sure about you. Who, me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I am okay if you do not like me. Seem a little judgy over here. I am. 
<laughs> All right. With that, Captain Zodge rides away. Okay. So, uh, what do you guys do? I run out of town. I leave. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I go with these friends to the tavern to talk to the lady. All right. That was a joke. I am very good at joke. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I do not understand them. If they're not raunchy. <laughs> okay. Butt humor. You like butt humor. <laughs> yes. Fart, said, fart, fart, fart. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 13 here. Okay. So, you guys uh, have this job now. Um, and uh, you begin walking through the uh, foggy, uh, wet, dark... Stinky streets Ooh. of the lower city, heading to the Elf Song Tavern. You guys have lived here for a while, so you know of this place. It has a reputation for being a tavern um, that houses a good deal of people of ill uh, repute. But um, it is a very interesting tavern in the sense that there is a uh, disembodied spirit that sort of haunts it. But it does so in, like, the most mild way. Uh, it will occasionally sing a song in Elvish in a very, very beautiful voice, which is why the tavern is called the Elf Song Tavern. Um, those of you who have visited and speak Elvish might have uh, heard the song and sort of heard the lyrics. I think only one of you speaks Elvish. Right? I do speak it. Uh, give, me a, give me a roll. Let's say you have a... 75 how long have you been living here i've years? been living here for 15 years 15 years i'd say you have a 75 percent chance of having been there when the song was sung okay mm. so roll a uh, roll a uh, d100 oh boy big time yep 100. and if you get anything between zero and 75 you got it. i got the 48 48 all right so you've heard the song before okay um and it's interesting because the place is filled with all these like nasty, kind of vulgar sailors and pirates and mercenaries and all that kind of stuff, all playing dice and like swigging ale and all this kind of stuff. But every once in a while, it's very unpredictable. Every once in a while, this this elf voice will just uh, appear, and and even the hardest, most like you know rough and tumble patrons almost always will quiet down and listen to it. Some of them are even brought to tears. It's so beautiful. Um, but the the song. Uh, is about a, a lover that has been lost to sea. Uh, and I don't have the actual lyrics for you, but uh, but it's always the same song, um, and it's always very beautiful. Oh, yes. I have been brought to tears myself by it. It is called Wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> hey, does anybody want to sing the song? <laughs> I just thought of you all tonight. <laughs> It Husband must have been something you said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're walking through the dank, dirty, loud, bustling streets of Baldur's mm. Gate. Um, and it's only a couple blocks, but you guys do run into someone. Oh. I rolled a uh, d20 on my lower city random encounters table. Oh. Got a 13. Now I got to roll a d10. Let's see. I know very many people in the lower city, mm. uh, so maybe I might know them. Mm. Mm. An elf about town, huh? I am. Mm. Well, this is pretty appropriate. So you guys are now, excuse me, <coughs> you guys are now deputized Flaming Fist members, and you come across a group of angry commoners <coughs> um, protesting. Thank you. If you need a lozenge. Thank you very much. Um, I might. Um they seem to be shouting something, you know, and like all, there's like kind of a guy who's doing a little bit of rabble rousing and the rest of them are shouting. As you get closer, you realize they're protesting the brutality of the Flaming Fist. And you notice actually several members of that uh, group that just got broken up. The mm -hmm. woman isn't here. She's probably gone off to like tend her wounds. But you've definitely noticed some of those other people who have, uh, who were, who were just previously getting beaten up by Captain Zod. And it is a group of actually 14 commoners. Uh, kind of marching around, mm -hmm. shouting about the Flaming Fist and their brutality. What do you do? I think we should delicately discuss this with them so that do not cause more bloodshed. They are just refugees, after all. They are not looking for violence. Yeah. 
I think we should focus on our mission. I think talking to these refugees is a waste of time and has nothing to do with what we're up to. I am okay with that, as long as we leave them alone. Mm. Well, they are. They're talking against our our temporary order. You said temporary. But the mission is everything. I will go talk to them. No, 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 no. If he's going, I'm going with him. You'd better go with him. (laughs) All right. I go too. I walk over and I just, uh, like, stand over a few of them. Okay. What is your what is your problem? Uh, before I continue, who is wearing their flaming fist badge? I'm just wearing, you two. Yeah, I'm not. And also <laughs> the chill insignia that I always wear. Of course. Um, okay, so you say uh, what uh, what's going on here? Uh, what is your problem? What is your problem? Oh, what's your problem? It's a little bit different. Yes. Um, <clears throat> well, sir, our problem is that the flaming fist. Treat us like garbage, without an ounce of human decency. They're supposed to be our protectors, and they're beating up women and children and taking our gold. Why, my cousin uh, lost a tooth, nearly went blind in his left eye, just yesterday, because he reported a stolen cart. How is that fair? It is not fair. We don't know. Did he deserve to lose a tooth? Why could he possibly deserve to lose a tooth and almost go blind in an eye? For just reporting a stolen cart. I would always like to recommend that we realize that every one of the fists operates on their own. We can't judge the entirety for what one, I would all be say, jerk did. Hear, hear. Yes, but this is an all too common occurrence. You can't just say that, you know, there are a few bad apples amongst the flaming fist when clearly the evidence shows that so many of them are bad apples. Well, would you have us cut down the tree when instead we could just pluck a few apples? Well, I don't know about you, but have do you know anybody who has been harmed by these monsters, these tyrants? My entire life, I've seen people of all groups hurt other people. I don't judge an entire group off of what a few do. Yes, Mm. I've seen a lot of lot of evil, but that's all. Well, rather than get embroiled in a political discussion, (laughs) I'm going to go ahead and say that you get a chance to persuade the crowd to calm down. One d twenty. Yep, roll a d20 at your uh, persuasion. Oh, give me something serious. A 14. Ooh, 14. Plus 5, 19? 19. 19? That's pretty good. All right, so um, it's going to take me a long time to remember everybody's names. Uh, race, yes. uh, you begin to make a very convincing argument, uh, you know, that, that, that perhaps not all Flaming Fist members are, are really that bad and that things are so strained, and although you totally understand that it's awful and terrible the things that have happened to them, it doesn't help. To, to start even more problems. Mm. Uh, and they, you know, they start to sort of calm down. The rabble rouser who sounded a little bit vaguely like Jerry Seinfeld <laughs> that I was doing, um, he kind of like doesn't have very many compelling arguments. Um, does anybody want to stop race for any reason? No. <laughs> no, okay. I was thinking maybe you because you look like you were possibly looking for a fight. But if not... No, I'm actually going to go around and start hugging them and say... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> are there any children? Oh, wait. Yeah. Um, there yeah, are there's, kids? There's two, uh, you know, I, um, young teenagers. Is there, are there some stones around? Yes. I pick up a stone and I um, use my magical tinkering ability to make the stone um, create fart noises. <laughs> I give that to the children. <laughs> All right. So it's a farting stone. That's awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. Here you go, children. This is a fun time. You, use this with your parents. Maybe they'll lighten up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, the child was crying because, uh, you know, uh, his brother had broken a leg. Uh, but uh, suddenly that's all forgotten. Farting stone cures all. Rock. Farting stone, man. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and... I really like uh, that. That's creative. I'm going to give you inspiration, yes. Aaron. Excellent. I don't give inspiration enough. But uh, that made me chuckle. And it was unexpected. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> Great. Um, cool. So the rabble has been uh, dispersed and no blood was shed. Hey. Pretty good. Yeah. You're kind of, you've shot up the ranks in the, uh, in the flaming fist as, as far as uh, the public's concerned. Um, okay. So moving on, uh, you guys uh, make your way to the Elf Song Tavern. I'm gonna go ahead and switch us over 
to the roll 20 with cameras scene. Mm, the farting stone. Maybe that should be my thing. <laughs> what uh, about... That's your ultimate goal is to one day make like the best farting yeah, stone. I'm just in the always universe. trying. Well, I'm always trying like different things because I want to come up with my, you know, what's going to be my, my my claim to fame. That's the legacy you're going with. <laughs> well, that, that maybe you know that's an option. I'm always I'm always trying out new things. I don't think the actual claim to fame will come till later. Yeah. Watch out for camera. You're very close. You might bump. <laughs> <sighs> Stop influencing our election. <laughs> Ha <laughs> uh, Jokes. <laughs> I like jokes. You guys like jokes? Yeah. Oh, this is so cool. Is this, yeah, this is, is that dope, is that the inn? Yes, this is the Elf Song Tavern. Elf Song Tavern? Yeah, that's it. Uh, that's the, the big view of it. We'll zoom in a little bit. Uh, Why is Gollum standing outside? <laughs> <laughs> a mighty big Gollum. Uh-oh. Yeah, that was a big-ass Gollum. He's, ha he's having a smoke. <laughs> it's a non-smoking. Right. He can't have a can't smoke inside the outside tavern. That's the bouncer, man. Yeah. Actually, that's absolutely 100% correct, Ooh. Brad. Inspiration for Brad for being so Ooh. fucking correct. Hey, wow. Brad, Brad. <laughs> okay. Jelly Relish, subscribe to Tier 1. Hey, Yay. Jelly Relish! No, no. All right. So, uh, yeah, you guys uh, approach the Elf Song Tavern. Uh, there is a sign kind of uh, creaking back and forth, dangling above the door that says the Elf Song Ta Tavern. It's got a really nice picture of, a, of an elf on it, a beautiful maiden. Mm. Kind of imagine like the Starbucks logo. Ooh, foxy. A little bit. Mm. Like that. Um, but anyways, uh, the kind of the opposite of a beautiful elf is standing right outside <laughs> of the door. Um, this looks to be some sort of half ogre female. Um, so someone whose parent uh, probably didn't want to be involved in the relationship, but maybe, who knows. Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, she's kind of standing there, gruffly, arms crossed. Definitely some sort of bouncer. Uh, kind of eyes you guys as you as you walk up, and uh, but doesn't make any sort of uh, moves to stop you. Mm. I believe uh, ogres usually speak goblin, correct? Um, some of them do. Uh, ogres are giants, actually. So a lot of them speak giant, but right. they might oh. speak goblin, too. Yeah. Uh, I will I will say in goblin, hey, good looking. Say in goblin, hey, good looking. Mm. <laughs> oh. A blood schnigger cooler. <laughs> Saucy. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to pull up uh, her character sheet here and see if... Uh, See if she you is. get murdered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm bigger than she is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she kind of looks at you and she says, uh, in common, What? Uh, I sure don't speak goblin. No. I was commenting on your good looks. Oh. She kind of like uh, grumbles at you and kind of looks you over. I need you to, well, first, real talk here. Does your character actually find her attractive? Uh, in in a sort of a admirable admirable way of, of how muscular she is. Okay, I thought you were going to say in an Admiral Akbar way. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of what my character sounds like. So it is a legitimate compliment. Mm. Yes. Um, I'm going to go ahead and um, ask you to make a persuasion check, just because you're trying to kind of nice up to her a little. All right. Bit. Um, if you weren't telling the truth, then it would be a deception check. Mm -hmm. Uh, nine? Nine. Okay. Um, well, she, uh, <clears throat> she kind of, like, grumbles and spits and says, <clears throat> Yeah, that ain't gonna work with me, pretty boy. <laughs> Respect. <laughs> <laughs> May we enter this tavern... Yeah, door's right there. Hey, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Don't try any funny business. No, no, no. We we'll never. Dash your head against the wall. I love my head not being dashed, so you know what? I got gotcha. you. Usually just do that to babies, but you're a big Oh, my sweet Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but I can swing you around pretty easy. You know what? They usually do, you know? Yeah. Hey, back off. Hey, hey, hey. You saw her first, brother. <laughs> All right. No, I'm telling her to <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I'm just saying don't cause any trouble. We're here on a mission. Go on in. Name's Schooner. Hey, Schooner. Schooner. Barkeep's name is Alan. Mm. Uh, I go in and immediately uh, make a, a sweep of the room just to get the layout. Sure. Okay. So, uh, you guys kind of go on in. You guys following um, your friend here? Yes, sir. Yep. Okay. I swear I'll remember the names eventually. <laughs> Globjack. 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 <clears throat> Grasskull gifted a tier one sub to Ms. Courtney C. Hey! Oh, hey. Yeah. Thank you, Grasskull. Okay, so you guys walk in the front door of the Elf Song, tab- Elf Song Tavern. Um, the first thing you notice to your left is a suit of armor. That isn't doing what most suit of suits of armorers do. Mostly, they just kind of lie around or are on someone's body. This one is moving around on its own, and it's it seems to just kind of be standing there, uh, gazing through just empty helmet eyes, uh, mm. almost like an invisible person is wearing a suit of armor. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And it's just kind of standing there silently, just kind of watching you as you walk in. Huh. Um, other than that, the place is bustling. There are a number of uh, people sitting down, eating, drinking, kind of having a good time. Uh, you see the barkeep, which is uh, all the way up here. Um, that helmet, by the way, uh, from a gas station. What? <laughs> it's awesome. Okay. I gotta go to better gas stations. I thought Quick Trip was it, but did you go to a BP and Water Deep or something? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Courtney found it at a gas station uh, halfway between here and La Crosse. Oh, wow. Yep. That's amazing. So they have swords and uh, like weird canes <laughs> <Wow>. and uh, <laughs> armor and shields. Wow. I feel like maybe somebody who works like Sunday afternoons there went to their manager and were like, I got an idea. Hear me out. Hear me out. And it's a truck stop. And actually, they said they sell really well. Oh, so, sure. Yeah. <laughs> Be like, oh, this is here. I, I don't know what's coming, but apparently I need armor for it. So let's go. <laughs> I've been looking everywhere for a suit of chainmail. Um, I'm gonna walk up to Alan, the bartender. If sure. We're making moves. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, I will follow him. Sure. So Alan is all the way up here. Okay. So you walk up to the uh, the bar there, and. Uh, Following around. I want to stay close to Race because I have something special for him when it comes time to him to talk to Lady. Sure. Ooh. As you guys walk through the tavern, you notice everybody here is well armed. In fact, most people that you have come across in the entire city have, are, are pretty well armed. It's kind of like the Wild West. Okay. Um, also, some other things to note over on the east side, there is a fireplace. Uh, several chairs are kind of turned towards that fireplace. There mm-hmm. is a guy passed out on a couch. Up near the top, next to a chest. Mm-hmm. Yep, uh, that chest seems to have a whole bunch of games in it, like uh, dragon chess and uh, mm. some dice, some cards, three de- dragon ante, that kind of thing. Uh, you notice a set of stairs leading to an upper floor, uh, and of course, there's a whole bunch of different rooms. Um, doors are closed. Okay. Uh, Do I see a female elf <clears throat> scanning around the room, looking for Tarina? I'm assuming. Mm-hmm. Uh, you don't you don't see any sort of uh, female elf around here. No. Okay, I'll head upstairs. Okay, well let's uh, let's do the uh, the interaction with the yeah the the barkeep first. But I will move your character over towards the stairs here. You're going upstairs. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to follow him when the time man comes. of action. Okay. So the party splits. A couple of them heading upstairs. The others sticking down, talking to the barkeep. Is that All where right. she is? She's not. So uh, uh, okay. I, I say to, hey, uh, Alan, can we get a couple of ales and uh, tug your ear for a moment there? Um, sure. Alan is a uh, sort of like a middle-aged looking half-elf. Maybe oh, okay. kind of getting up there, maybe around. You're not sure exactly how old they are because yeah. half-elves live a little bit longer than humans. But it looks like, you know, maybe 40, 50-year-old yeah. human. Um, and he's cleaning a glass, and uh, he's like, sure. Uh, what... Uh, what do you need to know? And he uh, starts pouring some ale. <clears throat> uh, one, thank you for the service. And two, more importantly, we're looking for, uh, me and my partner here, we're looking for a female elf. Have you seen any in the bar recently? Or a tavern? Hmm. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Seen a number of them. 
Mm. Looking for any female elf in particular? Uh, actually, we are. Uh, we're looking for a Torina. 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 Um, yeah, I think uh, I think she's uh, I think she's upstairs. Oh, excellent. Yeah, she's kind of a regular around here. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just uh, just be careful. She uh, she's a killer at Baldur's Bones. You know what? That's perfectly fine. We're here on nothing but love. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, nothing but love. Uh, <laughs> Make a uh, uh, deception check. <laughs> uh, would that be? I'm not sure which one's deception. Is that still charisma? But yeah, it should be right here. Oh, it's a plus five too. All right, eighteen. Nice. Okay. Nice. All right. Okay, so he kind of looks you over, and uh, he gets a really good vibe from you. Cool. Uh, maybe didn't notice that you came in with an armed bugbear. <laughs> <laughs> That's because I stealthed right to the stairs. <laughs> And you're not wearing your badge. Correct. Right? Correct. Okay. And neither am I. And neither are you. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, he's got no uh, no reason to think that you might be lying. Sure. Um, so, he's like, okay, excellent. Um, yeah, well, if you if you need anything, I'll be here. We do some really excellent fish cakes, really Ooh. excellent crab cakes. we got some bread pudding with <sighs> nice toasted, slightly lightly salted almonds. Alan, I'm a sucker for bread pudding. <laughs> I, after I speak to Tarina, we're going to have a slice. Okay. Just not slices of bread pudding, but you understand what I mean, sir. Excellent, excellent. Oh, and if is if this is your is this your first time around? It is. It is. Time? Well, if you stick around, you might be able to hear the the fabled elf song, oh. of which we are so famous for. You know, I love good music. Yeah, yeah. You look like a man. It's good music. <laughs> Thank you. We're gonna head upstairs, sir. Thank All you right. for the information. No problem. <laughs> I take the ale oh. down the counter and I just glug, 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 done, yeah. put the empty back. I'm a small boy, so I sip and say I'll be back for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wow, boy. I wish I had more patrons like those two. He says as he starts cleaning the, the, em- the now empty mug. <laughs> Do you pay him, by the way? It's a I, copper for each drink. I will pay him two copper for Yes, me. yes, yes. For, okay. I will cover. <laughs> right. <laughs> He's least I can do. Any, any, tip? any tip? Oh, yes, yes. I'm going to give an extra copy. you got to tip Alan. All He's right. a gem. All right. <laughs> okay, so you guys get upstairs first. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and reveal a bit of the map for you. And I'm stealthing it. Okay. Stealthing. Okay, so you're, you're trying to be kind of quiet as you're going up the mm-hmm. stairs. Gotcha. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm ahead of you. He's just stomping up the stairs. Ah. I don't even know how you saw me going up there. Oh, I keep track of you. <laughs> well, I mean, you just walked straight for the uh, for the doors or for the uh, stairs. I mean, I mean, you, there's a certain amount of stealth you can uh, you can expect when you're kind of going up the stairs. Like with stealth rolls, it's more like if you if you don't have some sort of thing obstructing your view then the best you can hope for is just to kind of like be silent. Mm-hmm. Uh, but if you, if there's cover and things for you to hide behind, then of course you can be invisible, so to speak, hiding behind those things. But there's not really a tremendous amount of cover between here and the stairs. So, And plus this guy just follows you around like a fucking uh, dog. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to move over to upstairs. There it is. Yeah. Make sure everybody online can see it. <clears throat> yeah, you can see it. Okay. So. So, I'm getting used to this new system. There we go. Go and roll that stealth check for me. See if anybody notices you come up the stairs. Ooh, big money. 16. 16? Pretty yep. good. Pretty good. I think that'll be their passive uh, perceptions there. Um, okay, so you get up the stairs, you see that there are a number of folks uh, playing um, some uh, dice. Actually, Baldur's Bones, the same exact game that uh, you guys were playing earlier. Uh, Is one of them Torino? Let's see. Okay, yeah, you can see all those people now, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you can. <laughs> Maybe her. Mm-hmm. There we go. Layer, GM layer. Alright. GM layer. Cool. Okay. 
So, uh, yeah, there's a number of people playing, uh, and you do spot somebody, actually. It kind of looks like it's that first token, the one that's closest to you. Mm. Seems like a woman. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, not that one. The one at the table. Mm -hmm. ah. That one, yeah. Uh, the one at the table uh, is playing Baldur's Bones with uh, two other folks at that table. Uh, and she seems to be re doing really, really well. The other two people mm -hmm. at the table, not so happy. And she's an elf. And, uh, yeah, she uh, she might be your mark. Ooh. Uh, I will walk up to her. Okay. Are you sneaking up to her? <laughs> <laughs> Currently, she has her back facing you, and she has not heard you, you don't believe. Backstab. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. She uh, is surprised by the sudden <laughs> bugbear behind her. And uh, she kind of spins around and actually drops one of her dice, and it kind of like lands near your foot. One of her like D6s. My pardon. Make a perception check. Uh, 21. Okay, so when you bend over and you pick up the die, you immediately can tell that this die is loaded. <laughs> Um, so, just so you know. And she kind of like gives you a look as you're handing it to her. And I go. <laughs> <laughs> Yoink. All right. Because uh, I'm also, I'm also proficient table. in gaming, by the way. Mm, there yeah. you go. Mm. Yeah, you know your way around a loaded die. <laughs> okay. Um, so, what are you doing here? I am also approaching the table. Also approaching the table. In a much more obvious way. <laughs> Are you skipping there? <laughs> Doing just silly walks? Cartwheels. Farting rock in your yeah, ass. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm chucking farting rocks around. <laughs> All right. And then uh, you guys are having your conversation with the uh, with Alan mm -hmm. right about now. Okay. Um, so I'll, I'll give them a few more moments to talk before you guys head up the stairs. <clears throat> so uh, <clears throat> she says... Uh, well, uh, would you like to join me for some, uh, Baldur's Bones? Certainly. <laughs> may I use my own set? Of course you may. And, uh, the other two, uh, people at the table, they get up and they say, well, I mean, um, I'm out. So, uh, yeah, fuck this. <laughs> they kind of, like, get up and one of them moves over to this other table where there's a couple other people playing. This guy, uh, actually, like, fucking stands up and flips his, uh, his uh, chair over mm. and actually starts walking down the stairs grumbling about uh, this wench uh, taking him for all he's got. So he's going to be downstairs now. <clears throat> Alright, and then you guys can go ahead and sit at the table. Great. Any specific spot you want to sit? Probably across from her. Across from her? Okay. Aaron? I would just like to watch, if that's all right. You just want to watch? I am uh, not very good at these games and would love to learn from a master. Okay. All right, so you're going to watch a, a, a duel between <laughs> these two. Uh, I will take out my loaded dice and my unloaded dice, and I'll say, do you have a preference? Mm. Oh. oh, okay. She, uh, she, she picks up your dice and kind of like looks at them all. And uh, she decides, she actually hands you back your uh, regular dice. And she says, let's uh, play for real this time. Mm. And uh, she pulls out another uh, set of dice and she kind of hands them over to you to look them over. You kind of give them a look over and you realize, yeah, these are, these are fair dice. So it's a real game that you're about to play. Yeah. So uh, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you want to wager? Uh... I'm a little low on cash, but uh, <laughs> we'll go five gold. Five gold. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. She uh, she mm -hmm. she takes out five gold and uh, puts it on the table, which is kind of a pretty good amount of money, yeah. by oh, the way. Yeah. It's a lot of money. Yeah. All right. Um, but uh, yeah, here we go. Um, let's see. Uh, odds. I'm the host first. Even you're the host first. Uh, odds. I'm the host first. Okay. So here we go. My 3D. Oh wait, I'm the host yeah, first. I, Sorry, I, you go first. My B. Twelve. Okay. Fourteen. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Eighteen. 18. Mm -hmm. Stopping there. Now I don't get a chance to roll 
after I see yeah. Urza. Once you pass, you're done. Okay. Yo. Got to beat an 18. Let's see. Ooh. I got a 10. <clears throat> 10. 15. Ooh. 16. Mm. No! Bust! Oh. Damn it. Oof. Mm. Oof. All right. All right. So now I get to go first. And you're the host. 10. That's... Mm. 15. 20. Stopping there. Well done. 13. Uh -huh, uh -huh. 18. Oh. 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 One and one. We gotta make we gotta do a tiebreaker tie here. Breaker. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're gonna roll off for who's the host for this tiebreaker. Alright. Um I grab is there any extra dice on the table? Let's do two D six, whoever gets highest. Is there any uh, extra dice the on the table? Yeah. Four. I grab a die and I, I'm doing some magical tinkering. Seven. <laughs> You're doing some tinkering on a die? Yeah. Okay. And it's, ab it's about this time that you guys come up the stairs okay. and you kind of see that uh, it seems like you guys have found Tarina. And this is a heated game of dice. And actually, mm -hmm. a couple of the other customers are kind of like watching what's so going to happen. So you're host? Yeah, I'm host. I'll go first. Mm -hmm. All right, good luck. Good luck to you. Eight. Mm -hmm. Fourteen. Mm -hmm. Let's go. 18. Ooh, you're going to stop at 18? It worked last oh, time. Oh, You're the greatest, sweaty. baby. You're sweating. Okay, I'm, so I'm stopping. You're stopping? Okay. Yes. Let's see. That's 13. 16. Oh, boy. Oh, mercy. Oh, I'm feeling good about this. It's ours. It's ours. 20. Oh! Uh, so, don't worry about it, big fella. <laughs> all the other customers who are watching all just kind of slam their hands and they're like, God I, damn it, Tarina. I roll an enchanted die that makes the sound of applause. <laughs> 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 all right, well, unfortunately you lost your five gold, but uh, Tarina Fair seems square. very, very happy. <laughs> and uh, and uh, she does a little bow and she says, oh boy, well... Tell me you didn't come here just to lose all of your money to me. <laughs> well, I saw an opportunity to play someone who seems to be a good gamer. <laughs> but that is not the only reason we are here. Hmm. Well, well, what what might be your other reason or reasons? And now she's actually surrounded by like four people she doesn't know. <laughs> uh, perhaps uh, we could go somewhere more quiet, uh, private to talk. Um, sure, sure. There's a there's a number of rooms around here that are open. Let's see. There's one. Where's take the Winnebago room? <laughs> <laughs> the Winnebago room. There's actually a the camera rack. <laughs> downstairs, there's a number of uh, rooms that are pretty cool. There's the um, the bedroom. <laughs> yes. Well, there's the displacer beast room actually. I right, have even right here. Oh, the I, displacer I beast. I have been yeah. into the Elf Song Tavern. We should go to the displacer beast room. Okay. <laughs> it is the best of the rooms. So uh, she kind of leads you guys into the displacer beast room, um, which is this room right over here. Uh, you guys kind of quickly figure out why it's called the displacer beast room because there is a stuffed displacer beast hanging on the wall. Um, or the, just the head of it, actually. Um, and you can kind of see, I think, actually, some of its tentacles that are coming out of the back. Those mm. are sticking out of the wall as well. Object, get in here. Okay, Project. I'll go in now. <laughs> if, if, right. if, if I can <laughs> sit, if I can be close to, uh, close to race, I want to uh, cast Guidance on him. Ooh. And I'm I can, I'm going to do that. It's a cantrip. Uh, I touch him on the shoulder, and it's, uh, I, I, it lasts up to a minute. Um, but then you get to add uh, a D4 to uh, to one ability check. Okay. So if you're trying to, like, for one minute. Yeah. Um, we were sent here uh, from Commander Zaj. Uh, we are deputies. Oh, he's been promoted to commander now. Oh, yeah. I wonder when you knew him, because, yeah, he's a commander to us. But, yeah, uh, he was a captain last I spoke to him. Oh, <laughs> Yes, he is 
<laughs> yes, yes, sorry, Captain. I see big things for him in the future, that's all. Yeah. Ah, I got a lot of hope for him. Um, and we are here to uh, take down um, some of the uh, the guys following the gods of the dead. They're causing a lot of crimes, and ah. he hired deputies because he needs us to help nip in the bug because they're kind of stretched thin right now. The dead three. The dead three, the yes, dead yes. Three. And we heard you may be able to point us in the right direction. Okay. I may have some information that could be helpful to you. That would be wonderful. Yeah. Would you be willing to part with that information? I would. Mm. Provided that you do something for me first. There's always a catch, isn't there? There's always a Mm. catch. Well, what is it? Well, um, I can tell you what it's not. It's not uh, losing to me is more in Baldur's Bounce. (laughs) Uh, But... uh, Don't worry, you'll get it next time. (laughs) Um, All jokes aside... uh, I, uh, Tarina's not my real name. And, uh, you know, many people in kind of my line of work tend to have sort of second false identities. Yes, yes. Uh, and I've gone through a number of different names. Um, one of my more recent ones, uh, one of my more recent identities, which I have sort of abandoned, kind of got into a bit of trouble, uh, when I was working on a pirate ship. Um... I used to be called Rhonda Thunderbell. I served on uh, the Uncivil Serpent under Captain Morosco Sesprin. And while I I was a good pirate, I served faithfully for a really long time, uh, until an opportunity arose for me to steal a tremendous amount of wealth from the captain. And of course, opportunity arises, you're going to take it. You have to take it. Exactly. So Nothing's given in life. you got to go get it. Exactly. I, I went ahead and I took that... 5,000 gold, and I got oh. out of here. Yeah. So, um, that was your, that was, I want to say, a couple years ago at this point, and, uh, they've been kind of pursuing me the, 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 ever since. To be expected. Yeah. And, um, one of my contacts told me earlier today that, uh, the Uncivil Serpent has docked here at Baldur's Gate, and they are asking around for me. Now, I am not one to run anymore. I've kind of left that phase of my life behind me, and I feel like I've made enough friends in this city. I kind of want to settle down here. Also, I don't know if you've tried leaving the city these days, but it's basically I wouldn't impossible. suggest it, no. Um, so, uh, if you can help me by waiting here with me until my former compatriots arrive, and then, you know, killing them, or getting them to leave me alone permanently, uh, then I will tell you everything you want to know. Mm. Well, what do we think, guys? We're pretty much going to be bodyguards just to go kill other strong people. We in the mercenary business call this a nested assignment. <laughs> it's an assignment within an assignment. Yes, <laughs> But I don't think we should just do it for exposure. Yes, this is this sounds like more uh, money should be involved in. She got five thousand. We're providing guys. a service here. Yes. Mm. Um, would you be willing to compensate us with gold? You did tell us you got five thousand gold. I can't believe you spent it all. Oh, I did. Oh goddamn. <laughs> well, you are very good at what you do. We saw you upstairs. Is there some money involved in this, or is this just information for protection? Well. You won't get any money, but you will. Uh, I will owe you a favor. Let's let's put it that way. Right, how does a favor sound to you? I have some friends in the a guild. Favor from Rhonda Thunderbell sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> I go by Tarina now. <laughs> yes, well, probably yeah. not for much longer. How about a favor, and you put us in touch with a couple of contacts who might have more information. Hmm. More information about. Uh, about the dead three? Yes. Hmm. Okay. I, that, that might be able to be arranged. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. One more thing? Mm-hmm. Could I have your weighted die? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. How do you know about that? Ooh, I, uh, <laughs> I don't. Do <laughs> Only he that. knows about that. You know what? Though you look like a hustler, and a hustler would never come unprepared to any situation. <laughs> so I'm just going off of assumptions. <laughs> She wow. doesn't. This ain't my first rodeo. I'm innocent, That's but I'm not rude. dumb. She doesn't have any weighted dice. Well, wow. if he says so, I believe the big that, fella. That is quite an accusation. Mm. Yeah, she should believe your friend. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hey. do not play with weighted dice. All right, then. Never mind. 
I, I don't feel comfortable killing people for the sake of it. Um, could we convince them to go elsewhere? Maybe not have to kill them, but like lie to them to uh, send them off elsewhere, look for you. Whatever you got to do to get them to permanently stop looking for They're you. pirates. Uh, they are pirates. They um, have conflicted conscience. I mean, uh, maybe I, not lead with murder, but have it on the table. Is that uh, what you're suggesting? Okay. But I mean, I it's not an orphanage, so you know, they're pirates. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, <laughs> I roll with them for a few months, and if you're concerned that they might be like nice guys, just no. I the mission, uh, the mission not. is get them off her back. We accomplish that how we need to in the moment. Uh, okay, I am in. All right. Well. Relax, enjoy yourselves. This is the famous Elf Song Tavern. There's games downstairs, there's food, there's drinks. Mm. And uh, there's going to be some pirates probably coming in a couple oh, hours. Yeah. So. Um, if you want to play more dice, I'm always open. I heard good things about the bread pudding. Yes. And also, a suit of armor downstairs make me very nervous. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's one of the bouncers. Goes by the name Clank. Oh, uh. <laughs> Oh, and um, I wouldn't worry about uh, the bouncers getting involved in a fight that breaks out here. Just don't okay. threaten any employee. Okay. Don't do anything to hurt an employee. Then they'll... And the big one outside? I've seen her rip apart men your size. Mm. She sounds right. like maybe someone to have on our side. I, I told her I thought she was hot. Uh-huh. Well, I mean, coin talks louder than words in this city. So, oh, yeah. want her on your side. I'm Cough going, it up. I'm going to dice with some of your friends who weren't so good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good luck. Good luck getting them to want to play again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and see a man about some bread pudding. Okay. All right, so you guys kind of uh, disperse a little bit, go and uh, hang out, play some dice. Uh, you get some bread pudding, and uh, they specialize in it. It's actually pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Pretty good. This this place is pretty well off, uh, all things considered. It's one of the better taverns you've probably been to. Um, and uh, you go around looking for some folks to play dice with, trying to recoup a little bit of your losses. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, we can do a little bit of carousing. Carousing could be a good downtime activity mm -hmm. for that. Um, anybody else have any specific things they want to do while you're waiting for these pirates to show up? Carousing sounds fun. Carousing? Okay. I want to examine Clank. Examine it? Yes. Okay. So, <laughs> all right. So you walk downstairs. Where's Ratchet? Hey. <laughs> References. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so there's you and Clank. So describe how you, uh, you know. Oh. Yep. <laughs> does it seem like, that, like, does Clank, what do I know about Clank? Does it talk? Oh, um, I would say make a an arcana check. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, That's what we're talking on, about. Flex on Twelve, or is it just that plus, or is it also intelligence bonus? Okay, so you're proficient in it. Yeah. So you had oh, your proficiency. proficiency in. Okay, so that's a fourteen. And you, uh, if it's intelligence based, which it should say next to it, does it say int next to it? Yeah. Then you also had your intelligence. Yeah. So that's a fourteen. Fourteen total. Yep. Okay. Yeah. So all the non-proficient ones mm -hmm. is just the bonus from your ability, and then these are your ability plus two. Right. Right. All right, so you uh, have definitely heard of and or seen these types of things before. This is an animated suit of armor. Um, it is something that artificers can create, uh, theoretically. Do I recognize um, the work? Do you recognize the work? Like who uh, it might be? No, not, not with... Uh, no, I don't think there's really much of a way to recognize that. But it doesn't have any sort of... It doesn't have any sort of obvious, uh, like signs of being made by anybody in particular. In fact, it looks quite old. 
No signatures. Yeah, no signatures. Oh. Uh, and it just kind of stares at you as you <laughs> as you look into it. You know that they can't speak. Um, you know that they are basically golems, like automatons. You know. So, and they're not okay. they're not like crazy dangerous or anything, but they're you know for somebody like low level people like you or commoners, they're they're actually kind of dangerous. So, wouldn't want to fight one most likely by yourself. Anything else you want to know about it? Do you want to shove a farting rock into its open <laughs> visor? No. I was thinking about putting something on it that if someone touched it, it, said it spoke. Oh. Hmm. Okay. But I doubt that anyone's going to be touching it anytime soon. And it's probably not worth it. <laughs> Did you have some crazy fun idea of what it would say? Um. Try the veal. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome yeah. to Good Burger, home of the Good Burger. No, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that's a good idea, actually. Um, I'm gonna <laughs> Does it seem like I could... Uh, what would be the, something that would be most likely for someone to touch on this night, if they ever touched it? Okay. Um, you notice that there's a spot on the armor that... Uh, have you ever seen, like, an old statue where, like, you know... People have obviously touched certain parts like a lot, and mm-hmm. like it's, yeah. So you see a spot like that. I feel like I hear a phone ringing or something. Yeah, I totally hear. A oh, phone uh, that's somebody in the parking lot. They're on the like, phone inside yeah. their vehicle. Yep. They got it really loud. Yeah. That is nuts. Uh, yep. No day I want us all on the call, man. What the fuck? <laughs> <Big> business. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, we're inside of an yeah. apartment. It's winter outside, so and then their speakerphone in their car is so loud we can hear the phone ringing. <laughs> oh That's nuts. <laughs> Didn't look sound like anyone picked up though. So, mm. oh, well. okay. I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, uh, where would be a good spot that people would rub a suit of armor? Maybe, uh, maybe it's... maybe touch the helmet. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, like the nose guard. <laughs> You know, people are like, oh, thinking it's just a suit of armor or whatever, and then it right. kind of twitches and moves. When they okay, do. I'm going to enchant that to uh, to say, welcome to Elfsong Tavern. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and how are you How are you doing this? Which, uh, uh, what I'm spell? I'm just or... using, it's just a... Uh, you can make permanent tinkering. enchantments? Well, okay. It, it, it probably won't. It, I don't have the ability to do that yet. Um, but this is just a magical tinkering ability. Whenever tapped by a creature, the object emits a recorded message that can be heard up to 10 feet away. Okay, and how long does it last? Um, it doesn't actually say... It lasts indefinitely. Mm. Oh, okay, but once oh. probably once you do it again, it overrides whatever the older one was? Well, that's how... Yeah, yeah, probably. You can bestow magic on multiple objects... A single magic of one object at a time. If you try to exceed your magic... Oh, yeah. Okay, so you have a uh, maximum. You can feature one uh, equal to your intelligence modifier. Um, so I can actually have three. You can have two farting rocks and one nose guard that says, Welcome to Elf Sun. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. But as soon as I do something else, then those farting rocks are going to pass away. Okay. The kids will be very sad. <laughs> yeah, they'll be like, he just got home to show his mom. Mom! <laughs> it's like it's just a it's rock, just a Timmy. Rock, stupid. <laughs> and then she hasn't committed to an insane asylum, <laughs> and it ruins the rest of his fucking life, all because of your stupid Oops. farting rocks. <laughs> it was only meant to cheer him for a brief moment. <laughs> that will be his legacy: the man who lies. <laughs> <laughs> and then he'll come for me and be like, "You b- betrayed me with that farting stone." He's the I'm the boy who cried farting rock. <laughs> Um, okay, fantastic. So you go and you tinker on this suit of armor. Yes. And it doesn't seem to be, I mean, you're not doing anything, like, violent, so it just kind of lets it happen. <laughs> it doesn't really, doesn't really know. I make sure that the up. voice is nice and deep and sounds like a yeah. spooky. No, actually, you know what? I'm going to make it sound really high-pitched and weird. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fantastic. Welcome to the Upsong Tavern! <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, uh... Let's do a little bit of carousing, and then we're going to move on. That's my style right. of carousing. Um, carousing um, is in the Dungeon Master's Guide. I'm going to try and see if there's a... A glub jig. Mm. Glub. Glub jig. Glub jig. Yes. Uh, that's kind of more of a thing that's like happens overnight. Okay. Um, well, in that case, why don't you go ahead and just roll... A, are you, you're proficient with some gambling sets or something, right? Yeah, I'm proficient in uh, gaming set, bones gaming set. specifically. Okay, so let's say you earn one silver per 
uh, number over 10 that you roll. Okay. So if you roll, if you get a 20, then that's uh, 10 silver, right? So that's gold. So okay. You're not going to be making your whole five gold back in, right. in a short amount of time, but here you go. Uh, eight silver. All right. Make eight silver back. Starting to recoup some of them losses. Hey. You were also doing some carousing? Yes, please. All right. You can go and roll... Uh, Proficiency with the gambling set or anything? Um, let's see. I... If not, it's just a straight D20 roll. I'll just roll a D20. I don't have proficient for gaming. I don't think. Let me see. Just, uh, just know that you're going to lose money if you roll less than 10. Well, that is what I've been told. <laughs> okay. Hold on. Make sure I'm not... Uh, make sure I'm not missing out on any fun thing. Nope. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, right. here we go. Uh, eight. Eight? Okay. So you only lost two silver. And they probably lost him to him. <laughs> probably. <laughs> only lost to Globjig over here. All right. That's so good. your um, your games uh, were interrupted at a certain point by actually the elf song. Oh. Um, mm. Which, uh, you know, all you guys were probably really looking forward to. Mm -hmm. You've actually heard it once. Um, and uh, you thought you were very lucky to have heard it the one time, and now you're hearing it a second time. And uh, so as soon as it starts up, you knew the drill. You immediately like, you know, put down your cards or your dice or whatever, and you're just like, shh, everybody. And everybody then, listen to the song, please. The song is going right now. You have to listen to <laughs> everyone. Attention, attention. Everybody listen very close to the song is going right now. Shut up, Kozlo. I'm. Oh, yes, sorry. So I guess you missed the first couple lines of it. <laughs> No, but uh, it strikes you as interesting because um, it's not it? the same song oh. as it was the other time that you heard it. Oh. And from what you understand, it's always the same song. Uh -oh. It's never, ever not been the same song. Oh, wow. Um, so, there's a different song, and I will sing it. Yes. Oh, sing a song of El Terrell, of water, woods, and hill. <laughs> the sun dawns on her ruddy cliffs and fields green and still. This land of long abiding joy, home of the strong and brave, renowned by all across the realms and never once a slave. Oh, sing a song of El Terrell when foes are at her door, her fields torn by cloven feet from some infernal shore. Arise the mighty hell riders, take up your swift keen swords, then charge into the hellish fray and scatter devil hordes. Oh, sing a song of El Terrell, and when the night does fall, Sleep safe beneath companion's light until the dawn does call. We're bound by mortal covenant that only ends with death. And so we'll sing of El Terrell until our final breath. The millionaire and his wife. <laughs> for, for Emery singing. Yes. That's, that's yes. Amazing. Now, was that in Elvish, or was it in... That was in Elvish. Okay. So, the only I, one that uh, was, was you. I uh, so the sun, the ruddy cliffs, uh, joy, s strong, brave uh, foes of cloven hooves, uh, infernal types, uh, <laughs> uh, the hell riders, they're very good, uh, uh, devilish hordes and until the dawn, and a very sad ending part that I didn't quite get. <laughs> was, <laughs> when, uh, when he says... When he says infernal types, uh, the mug I'm holding, I just go. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I see that he's uh, that he needs a new drink, <laughs> so I go get him a drink. Okay. And I inscribe uh, with magical tinkering the words uh, "Grub Jig sucks." <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now that kid's fart rock don't work. Mm. Nope. Fart rock is done. <laughs> oh, poor kids. <laughs> Basically, this song was about how El Torel fell due to the devilish, fiendish hordes of the infernal devils. And it's up to the Hell Riders, which I guess still exist, I hope, uh, to destroy them by the light of the dawn, if I understood it all. Why did the song change? I don't know. 
Can I do an insight check or anything <clears throat> to maybe? Sure. Make, go ahead and make an insight check if you wish. Okay. Uh, Sixteen. Um. <clears throat> So uh, you know that this uh, this tavern is supposedly haunted by some sort of spirit, mm-hmm. um, and so you know spirits are things that are still sort of like present. You know they have some sort of presence in the world, and so maybe the most important thing to the spirit previously was uh, its you know story of its long lost lover. But apparently this new thing that has happened with Elturel is so important to the spirit that it feels the need to moan about it and like and mm. express itself. But I mean, aside from that, just sort of vague, okay. you don't really know anything else. All right, well, I share that. Okay. Um, could I ask Alan if the song has ever changed before? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's a, that's a good question. Alan actually uh, says no in my... In my centuries of, not centuries, decades, <laughs> decades <laughs> of running this place. He's not a full elf, he's just a half elf. Sure. Uh, but in my decades of owning and operating this place, I have never, ever heard it sing a different song. Peculiar. Yeah. Are there any uh, legends of the song changing when great changes upon the era? Or? No, and it's it's kind of interesting because, you know, I've been running this place, like I said, for over 50 years, and there's been a number of things that have happened that have been kind of crazy. Yeah. You know, there was the the whole, like, Tiamat cultists rising, and there was the whole, like, thing with the, the giants all coming down and trying to conquer the world, and there was the death curse and all yeah. that. There's been a lot of crazy yeah. shit happening, and no, this is always just saying the same song. That is very strange. Thank yeah. you for your information. Here's another copy, right? Oh. Just... <laughs> Pockets that he's like, this will cover your friend breaking one of my glasses. <laughs> Speaking of which, I think we'd better come up with a plan for when the pirates show up. That is a great idea. Where do we want to face them down? Is there only one entrance? I'm assuming into the bar. Uh, yeah, there's only one like normal entrance, which would be uh, this one right here. Okay. The door at the bottom of the. When we are thing. finished with this assignment. We're going to Elberell. Okay. Once we get paid, I'm fine with whatever. <laughs> Good. <clears throat> um, okay, so you guys want to make some sort of plan? I can uh, zoom out a little bit on the... Uh, on here. We should definitely make use of her. Agreed. Um, should I maybe go outside and try to persuade her? I like that idea. Okay, then uh, I'm gonna go talk to Schooner, I believe. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Um, so you're gonna go have a conversation with Schooner. Yeah, and hopefully not get thrown into a wall. And the know? goal is to uh, convince Schooner to help you. With yes, something? yes. Um, or at least warn us. Yeah. Okay. You're off talking to. Uh, I guess you're down there. I'll just put you all downstairs for now. You know what? I'm going to go with him. Yeah. Go on with him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anybody else going with? Mm. Nope. Bef- I want to try to time guidance out so that before he gets into like the meat of discussion, <laughs> sure. that he gets he gets to use get my guidance. You're just sitting there like chanting, Ooh. oh, nature spirits, good. Yeah, friend. and then I'm just going to put a hand on his shoulder <laughs> like, no, he, no, the spirit's with you. Okay. And, then, and also with you. Yes. <laughs> Hey, uh, Skuna, there's uh, about to be a fracas here, and I know you uh, covered the door and you just take care of the people who work here, but um, I was wondering if there was any way we could persuade you to maybe assist us in the oncoming fracas. You guys are planning a... F- <clears throat> Sorry. No. You guys are planning a fight? Oh, I would never plan a fight here. I respect your business, but there's tale of um, some ruffians coming through, mm. and who knows what they may be capable of. Hmm. And you're obviously the most heroic looking fighter here, so love to have you on our side potentially. Alright. Um Make a Okay, so here's the thing. She says I'll do it if you give me money. So we're in a bartering situation mm-hmm. now. Yeah. Um How much you offering? 
I have the ability to use message, which is like, well, whatever I say, like someone near me can hear. So could I just like maybe turn around for a second and kind of just whisper in my hand so that he can hear? Yeah. That, so, I'm so, not exactly trying well, to do these correctly. But maybe I don't <coughs> need to. I don't know if you need to. Okay. What you do with message is uh, it's it's casting a spell. So somebody who's observing you will see that you're, oh, that you're casting a spell. I thought I was like just more like, ah, and then, oh, no, no. sorry. But when you do cast message, um, you make a whisper, which only the, the intended target of the spell will hear. You know what? I only get two spells a day. I'm going to hold off. Oh, well, that's actually a cantrip, so you can do those any number of times. Oh, cantrips day. are infinite. Mm-hmm. Yep. Infinite cantrips. And that message has a distance on it, right? So, like, yeah. You could talk to somebody from a distance okay. and whisper something to them. So maybe the so if you back were inside. you were a halfling, maybe because like you're you're not a po- you're like yeah. they don't know you. You could be near the front. You could alert us when they come in. Oh, too nice. using message. Yeah. yeah, maybe that's a way to do it. But as far as bartering goes, I think you could just okay. Like, how much? Because um, I'm there next year. I'd be like, I, uh, I yeah. give five gold. Yeah, yeah. Uh, how does five gold sound to you? Five gold. You need to make a uh, check. It is a persuasion check. Ooh. And add that D4 in. Oh, hey. Yeah, yeah D4 is a the, the little pyramid there. Oh, pyramid. Well, is your offer genuine? I need to ask that. Oh. Will you actually oh, yes. give it? Oh, yeah, yeah. She hey. will definitely get the bread. Persuasion check, then. Oh, you get to add four to it. 18 plus 5. Oh, my God. She says, I like you. Yeah. Aww. I'm like you too, pal. I'll do it. I'll do it for five little. What a queen. Thank you. High five. I'm going to jump. You just stay there. There we go. <laughs> so uh, when the fight breaks where out. all your money goes, by the way. Oh, okay. You Let's see. It's like platinum, gold, silver. Well, I the five. Platinum, I handed you the yeah. five gold. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so um, this is gold. Yeah. You can see a little. It says like very, very this. unclearly GP and PP. GP. <laughs> the sex thing. Mm-hmm. Alright, um, so now that she's on our side, uh, I did kind of like what Jason said about me being able to alert the guys if they wanted to be in a better position for attack. So, maybe I'll just... Ooh! Hey! Hmm. Hey, I don't have my badge on. Uh, Skuna, would you be willing to wait inside and I pretend to be the bouncer as I wait for these guys to show up? Mm, that's too much. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. I have to ask. <laughs> you can wait out here with me if you want. Yeah, I would love to. You know, we'll just, you know, gab it up. Uh, you got your character's name. Coslo. Coslo, my dear friend Coslo. Hi, I'm Race. Uh, I'm going to wait out here and alert you guys through message. Uh, who do you think would be the best person to alert so that the other ones know? Because I don't... Are we all going to be lumped inside? Or? And do you have to see for the message? Or can he just... Yeah, you have to see. Oh, okay. I will. Uh, I will be uh, inside, inside the door. But then again, if the uh, I'm imagining this place because she stands outside of it, and uh-huh. she's supposed to also be a bouncer. I'm kind of imagining it has like the saloon door sort of oh, entrance. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. Or at least it's got the door where like it's split in the middle, so you can close it fully, but yeah. they keep it you know open. So people can come maybe maybe you just wait just inside so that when sure. she sees them, yeah. she holds them up for just a yeah. moment, and then you can yeah. alert us. I will be back by the fireplace okay. with these two, and then when when they are coming in, we can be ready. Nobody um, tells me where I'm going. Skuna, would you be willing? Because we we know the name of the dude is like Romasco Sestron, right? But we, do we know what they look like? Do they have defining markers? Or are we just supposed to... Because everyone in there is rough and tumble, so how do we know who's just a, like, regular gruff versus a pirate? I think we'll know. Okay. I I have a question. Is this, like, all ceiling? Or is some of this, like, a balcony? Um, uh, it's... As far as I know, yeah, it's all ceiling. Okay. Like, where... You know, if I was going to use range, where would be... What looks like I would get the most access to? Range? Uh, ranged attacks and stuff? Yeah. Well, I'd be, I mean, I guess height is important, so standing on Maybe top like standing of the, the bar, bar or something, or standing at the top of the stairs, like that landing in the stairs, um, That's or on a I'm, table. That's where I'm going to stand. <laughs> yeah, I think I will go over here, but then I might just use this table. Are these? Those, but those people are all there. Yeah, they're all drinking and eating, having a good time. Bunch of nerds. Sorry, I got to use my specialties. I understand. I am not offended by you. Also, could I go into stealth? Because I'm tiny, so, you know. 
Do you have I proficiency? Oh, uh, uh, I actually... Oh, yeah. I think halflings have a special ability. Yeah, I got plus five stuff. It's got a pro it's proficient. I haven't written down the because I, I did some of the writing on your sheet, but yeah, they, halflings can hide behind uh, medium creatures. size or larger creatures. Oh, which would sure. which would be Skuna. Yeah, you could you could ask her if you could hide behind her. Yeah. Hey, uh, yeah. Knew we were gonna get here eventually. Hey, Skuna, <laughs> <laughs> is it cool if I hide behind you so that uh, as, in the most innocuous way i am not trying to pull a fast one because it would end with you ripping me in half so is it okay if i just casually stand behind you so the grunts don't see me and this is going to require another persuasion yeah, check. Yeah. I'm always, <laughs> I, can stand, I can stand behind like a storm giant 18 23 18. wow oh, wow okay she really likes i was gonna you. make that that was a hard dc for that but you made I, it yeah you you just you got something about you <laughs> uh, they always say that yes <laughs> I normally don't let boys anywhere near my butt, but uh... <laughs> okay. <sighs> See, I knew we were gonna be friends, gonna. <laughs> yeah, maybe more than just friends uh, someday. Hey, hey, hey! I'm not easy. You gotta take me out at least for one bread pudding. Oh, you! <laughs> she uh, giggles and farts. <laughs> no way to my heart. <laughs> I am going to go inside. <laughs> that is my cue. Okay, so, all right, race is hiding in this little sort of like triangular, <laughs> tiny little spot. They're hiding in the thigh gap. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm sorry. I just slammed in that's, here. That's how you're looking at things. It's through the thigh gap. I mean, I always do, but you know. <laughs> you're like literally like pressed up against one of her legs. <laughs> I'm just gonna poking your head out between her thighs. I want to be um, uh, sort of behind. Uh, yeah, so I'm here. It's fine. Okay. With my longbow drawn. If there's nobody in here, I okay. think I'm gonna go in this room and push maybe push the table out so I could. Or not drawn. I'm just gonna. Oh, you're pushing the. You want to push the table out? Yeah, I'm gonna push the table out in case I want to stand on it or use it as cover. Uh, the barkeep kind of like sees you pushing the table out and is like, "Uh, what are you doing? I'm putting the table out here. Why? <laughs> uh, I don't like to sit in rooms with tables. <laughs> huh." Make a deception check. <laughs> 17. Damn. Nice. I guess it is getting a little crowded in here. Okay, I guess put the table there. That's fine. I want to be, um, let's see. Uh, not hurting anybody. <laughs> I'll be right about here. Just sitting there at that table all by myself if I can. Sure. Um, right, right there? Yeah, that's fine. Kind of facing the door? Yep. Is okay. this an is this an open railing or? Yeah, okay. yeah, it's an open railing. You can totally see. I'm gonna be up here then. <clears throat> okay, sure. Just taking up the whole stairs and hulking <laughs> over everyone who tries yeah. to get up there. Gives right. you a good line of sight, kind of at the door. I'm basically, I'm guarding the lady. Do you want to make a stealth check so that you can yeah. hide behind the railing and all that? Yep. Go for it. <laughs> Hide behind the tiny piece of wood, giant ogre <laughs> yeah, bugbears. Uh, that's amazing. That's, Eight. that's one of the great things that's about bugbears bug is that even though they're so huge and muscly, they're somehow incredibly good at stealth. Yeah. Hmm. It's just like this weird thing about them. They're one of my favorite races in all of D&D. &D. Yeah. Uh, okay, so um, you guys have set up your sort of like plan. You're going to trap these pirates. <laughs> they're not going to know what fucking hit them. Okay, so... Some time goes by. Hour, two hours, three hours. Kind of hard to know. You don't have watches or iPhones. Oh. It's the past. <laughs> um, <laughs> start to get bored a little bit with your longbow drawn. People have to, like, walk over the bugbear who's kind of, like, sprawled out <laughs> on the stairs. <laughs> this is a serious drunk. Um, you have just been standing next to this table, just like waiting. I've just been scrawling random things on it, <laughs> animating it. <laughs> um, you Two have been just drinking by yourself, pie. staring at the door, just sipping the the elky hole, and you have been getting very familiar with Skuna's. You know, with all the best qualities of a person, yeah, yeah, exactly. 
You know how she smells, how she tastes a little mm. bit. Uh, you accidentally had your mouth open. Uh, uh, a hint of paprika somehow. But. <laughs> she uses it as like, uh, you know, aftershave. Um, and then, and then, mm. something Uh-oh. happens. Okay. Eight motley humans mm. saunter into the tavern. Uh-oh, the leader motley. is a brawny man with a cloudy right eye, a cruel sneer, and a pirate swagger. The others are an unsavory, rowdy bunch who act as if they own the place. So they kind of walk in, and the uh, the leader of them says, We're looking for an old friend of ours, says the dead-eyed man. He sniffs the air. Goes by the name Tarina. Or so I'm told. Loves to cheat at Baldur's Bones. And he looks around. I'm going to go ahead and put the minis on the table while you guys figure out what you're going to do in response. Hmm. Now, did they come in or did they say that to uh, the schooner? The schooner? Oh, they, they just walk right past okay. schooner. Just oh, walk right, right in. tough yeah. customers. Eh? Yeah, they don't give a yeah. shit. Right. Ah, we're going to get them now. Layer, token layer. Token layer? Yep. <laughs> uh, I can't imagine that talking to them is going to end up. Working. Nope. I don't think so. Yeah. Sound like ruffians. The only language that they'll understand is bloodshed. Yeah. Or gold. They might take all the gold. They that, don't have a lot of gold. Yeah, I yeah paid but that, that's that's not five gonna, gold for that's nothing. That's not going <laughs> to push it away for permanent. No. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, Skuno would get involved in a fight if we had one right here, I bet. Oh, yeah. Clobbering time. Did you explain to her who these people were? Uh, I, I think I'd say they were pirates. All right, so seven of them are Hagrid. Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> why we wanted to... Um, she did not ask. Mm. I think she just wanted the money and didn't mm-hmm. care where the sword went. Yeah, she. you guys have had plenty of time to chat. Okay. And uh, she has kind of like told you that once the fighting breaks out, mm-hmm. <clears throat> she'll uh, she'll join on in and start pounding whoever it is that you're hitting. Mm-hmm. But uh, she is not going to strike anyone who is not uh, actively being wailed on by one sure. of you guys. She don't want to hit any customers. Yeah. You know? Roadhouse rules. Are there any custom? <laughs> well, there's one customer over there. Um, there's a, bu- there's a bunch of Mandalorians. All right, right well, I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to get right into it. I'm going to cast Thunder Wave in a 15-foot cube right in that center of those. Oh, my God. Right in the center of those All guys about there. The action. Sorry. Get, getting you know. into it is what are you, what are you immediately. Casting? I got Thunder some wave. dexterity, so. Thunder Wave? Yep. Well, yeah. Do we, do we I guess we might have them on surprise. Okay, well, yeah, here's going to be a, We're going to have a uh, initiative roll if you're going to roll on and up on the attack. Sure. Now here's the thing, uh, they're spoiling for a fight. Yeah. So there oh, isn't okay. there isn't going to be any sort of surprise round. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but uh, you know they're ready. They yeah. came in here specifically to kill a bitch. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, uh, but if if fighting is what we're going to do, let's just do it. Roll initiative. All right. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. D20. Here we go. D twenty plus that. Okay. Yeah. Sixteen. Fifteen. Twelve. 16. Everybody remember your initiative real quick. Right. Oh, this is my very first time rolling initiative with uh, this. Yeah, I'm wondering edit. how it's going to work. All right, so... What a moment. Okay, so that oh, is the damn. captain. He got a 20. Oh, shit. Oh, what a dick. He's a junk. Um, I'm going to roll once for the rest of these guys. They're all going to go at the same time. So uh, what? Uh, can you do cantrips as a bonus action? No. Uh, the spell specifically says whether it's an action or a bonus action. Oh. Yes, it does right there. Holy shit, that's so great. Yeah, crazy. Okay. Oops. No, I don't want to open Microsoft Word, god damn it. <laughs> oh, Clippy, get out of here. <laughs> hey, I'm <Okay>. Clippy. <laughs> Captain got a twenty. Nobody beat my twenty, right? Uh, no, sir. Oh man. Yeah, he 
he he sees you going for your fucking like Ooh. spell pouch or your mistletoe twig or whatever you <laughs> grew and yeah. used to cast, and he just he just is fucking ready for it, you know. Shit. Even with his dead eye. All right. Um. So anybody beat a fifteen? Yes, I did. Okay, what'd you guys get? Sixteens. Six. I have Each a, guy sixteen. Yep. Who has a higher uh, initiative modifier? I have plus three. I have plus two. Me. Okay. So, I put my dexterity down one from what it originally was, so I wouldn't have a minus one constitution. Uh, Ooh. Okay. And then pirates. Got a 15. There's got to be a better way for me to do initiative in the future. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Um, Aaron and Dion, what'd you get? A uh, 12. 15. 12 and a 15. Okay. What's your bonus to initiative, Aaron? Uh, plus two. Plus two. Okay, so you're actually, I think, going to go before the pirates. Let's check that out here. Let's do the captain. They got an initiative of plus one. So, yeah, Aaron's going before the pirates. Yes. Good. Um, then, Dion, sorry, you got a 12. Yes, sir. Uh, and actually, I got a roll for Schooner as well. Mm. She's going to be in, involved in this. Come on, big baby. I mm -hmm. wish, I hope she says, when she attacks someone, she says, Schooner. Hey. hey! I hope she says schooner break. <laughs> schooner. Okay. So the initiative order is Captain Jason, Brad, Aaron, Pirates, Schooner, Dion. Yes. Okay. Everybody rolled pretty nice initiative. Yeah. Lowest yeah, we're twice. the best. We can do this. Pretty we're cool. The best. All right. <laughs> Nothing's ever going to get you down. <laughs> All right, there we go. Who put a rock in here? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to give Dion a surprise round because nobody fucking saw him at all. Yeah, yeah that's right. Uh, oh. Actually, wait. Huh? Stealth roll from you. Oh. Got to do the stealth roll. Oh. 13. 13. Yeah, that beats her passage. Nobody saw you, and you already were aware that this was going to go down. So, yeah, you have a surprise round, What? Uh, which basically means that you get to take a turn and nobody else can. All right, all right. Um, I think I'm gonna use sleep. Okay. Yeah. Um, I probably don't wanna. My buddy was trying to explain it to me. So sleep, like it hits one person and then it like goes through the next people if it can. If I got it right, I wanna pull it up. It hits the biggest first. Okay, so I right? wanna yeah. go for the dude, the captain. Uh. Okay. And I think it's an area of effect. It says it's a range of ninety feet. Sure. Uh. I don't know which daddy is for it, though. I've never cast a spell, so... If you um, no, that's cool. Uh, so let me just uh, sure. take a look at it real quick. So it's got a range of 90 feet. Uh, so the spell sends creatures into magical slumber. Pick up all your D8s. That's his... Uh, these guys right here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I think you need I five can... of them. Here, I got you. I got you. Oh, I got you say it's a D8. Is this a D8? And that's a D8. Here's, oh. here's a few of them. Hey, so what you do? This guy. What you do is I'll you choose. Yeah, yeah, no problem. You choose a point, which means an intersection on this grid. Okay. Um, uh, where's the captain? He's in that corner with the yeah, four he's to the left. Kitty corner right with there. Jason right yeah. there. Okay. Okay. So you pick a point, and then every creature within twenty feet of that point mm -hmm. has a chance of falling asleep. Ooh. Um, so, and it targets the people with the lowest health. First. That's right. right. So, so what you do not want to do is hit a commoner. Or me. Or, <laughs> or him. So from where I am, would I have to go inside to... Or could I go straight up on that line of direction? It's everything within 20 feet of that point. So it's like a oh. circle. And each square is 10 feet? Each square is 5 feet. Oh, dang. Huh. Mm -hmm. It's a big old area. Okay. okay. Uh, I don't want to hit Jason. But I do want to cast it. Damn. <clears throat> if you uh, if you pick a point that's outside of the tavern, oh okay, so could I go pick the point like right here? Oh, yeah. and uh, th in that case, you know, you might hit yourself, but you could also move away. Oh, oh, can I move and still cast? Yeah. Oh, I tell Scooter to move too. Oh, Scooter, yeah, every, every, everyone, you can move and then take another action. Yeah. Okay. Or so you can move twice. Um, I would like to move out of my own radius with. And I guess Warren Schooner, if that's possible. Yep. Sure. Okay. She's probably going to be fine. But oh, you're yeah. like, spell incoming. Watch out, baby. We're in trouble. <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, and so as long as like on that angle that Brad said, I guess kind of going up that way, 
which is right out of Jason's area as well. Because right, it also so, probably will not have any effect on the armor. No. Okay. So good. we're going to pick a point that is not within 20 feet of Jason. Yes. So that would be, I believe, uh, the point right to Skuna's left. Mm-hmm. Okay. Perfect. All right. So that's going to be the center of the 20 foot radius. Mm-hmm. It might say welcome to Elfson mm-hmm. Tavern in that weird That's okay. true. Go and roll 5d8. Oh, give me something oh, yeah. sexy. Add them all up. Okay, I guess it's about, about 5 plus 7 is 12, plus 6 is 18, 21, 22. Not 22. Bad. Not bad. Excellent. All right, so starting with the closest. And is that is, hit dice or hit points? That's hit points. Okay. Mm-hmm. So the immediately, these two guys in uh, the back mm-hmm. just fall asleep. Yes. Good night, bitches. Yeah. Uh, these two. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. How do I add sleepy to them? <laughs> Condition. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. Oh yeah, here we go. Here we go. Um, Make him blue. One is sleep. They'll have three Z's on each of them. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. That's what I would do. Well, one of them has two Z's because he's an insomniac. Yeah. See that? That means they're sleeping. Okay. Kind of looks like an S. Oh yeah. Neat. A little sleepy right. S there. Got so uh, when they fall asleep, they hands. fall to the ground. So they're now prone. They're unconscious, and they drop what they're holding. So they drop their weapon. Yeah. Uh, okay. Fantastic. Okay. That was a surprise okay. round. So now we're going to the top. Captain okay. time. Captain. Mm-hmm. Oh shit. Uh-oh. Captain hears the sounds of two of his men Sorry. falling asleep. <clears throat> sees you going for your. Uh... Yep. And uh, he's like, "Ah, yes, Kellywag," and he swings. His scimitar at you. Okay. Scimitar at? Yeah. Do your worst. Three melee attacks. Shit. Two with scimitar, one with dagger. Oh my god, oh. what have I done? Kazo's dead. <laughs> Kazo's already dead. Okay, the first one's a nine. That is a miss. Second one's an eight. That is a miss. Yes. Ooh. Oh! oh! It's dagger. That is a crit with the dagger. Ugh. Our um, so it turns out that his slashes with the scimitar were merely a distraction as he takes his left-handed dagger out of his boot and then just jams it up into, uh, I don't know, your armpit. Ugh, he aria your ass. <laughs> sure did. Eight points of piercing damage. Uh, I am not well. <laughs> Holy shit, you're almost dead. I have one hit point. I am almost dead. Oh my oh, god! No. <laughs> This is tragic. You fuck, I am going to make you die. <laughs> I think this is what they were talking about when they were saying that this adventure is a meat grinder. Yeah, it's a meat oh, grinder. Fucking throws a Mercy. bandit captain at you in the first encounter. Uh, okay. It easily could have died with better roll. Oh, dude, I, oh, yeah, I could have been murdered with one. I was almost murdered with the dagger. The scimitar could have knocked you unconscious. Then the following two could have gotten you two. Uh, death saving throws each, which yep. would have killed you. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, but that didn't happen, luckily. You good? Yeah, okay, boy. Jason, your turn. Uh, she thunder wave! <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, fuck all you all. Did you say Shafonda wave? <laughs> thunder wave. I got my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to put it right in the center there, right on that center guy. That's a 15 foot cube, so yep. that's going to hit all of them. All yeah. of them and the captain. The only. The only pirate who's getting away f- with this is the one that's immediately to the captain's right. See him? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Thunder wave! Oh, okay. Oh, 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 oh. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> they must each make a constitution saving throw, and then on a failed save, they take 2d8 thunder damage. And they're pushed 10 feet away from me. Right, and half damage on a pass, I believe. Yes, and they aren't pushed. Okay, so there's the Constitution saving throw of the band, of the captain. Got a 17. Uh, now I'm gonna just gonna do them uh, one by one. You better run when I'm done with this shit. Okay. You got a 12. What's your DC, by the way? Uh, 16. Uh, DC for, uh, for spell uh, is a, a 13. DC 13. That guy failed by one. This guy passed. I'm going to be giving them green if they pass, red if they fail. This guy got a 16. That's a green. Put the captain, you got a green as well. This is going to wake up the sleeping guys, unfortunately. Uh, they're they're wake damage. up to an ass with them. Uh, they don't yeah. get to 
roll. Well, I guess they would. They do get shooting. they do get saves and everything. Okay. Sorry. Uh, well, I'm yeah. sorry, Jason. They're getting kind of lucky with these. Well, saves. that's fine. I. Uh, that happens. At least I got one guy I can. I can go and lick my wounds for maybe a round. And you still do half damage to the ones that passed. So that's true. Two of them failed. The rest passed. Oh shit! I got point of inspiration. I should probably be using it. Okay. 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 Save Cosmo. Okay, roll the damage once, so it'll apply to everything. For oh, Cosmo. ten. Ten. Yep. Nice. Okay. So, oof. Gotcha. For okay. Cosmo. For Codlack. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. That was a mistake. Jamstow says the sleepers should have disadvantage. Uh, the sleepers have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Mm. But, actually, they automatically fail dexterity saving throws. Oh, yeah. But Constitution, nice. they still, uh... These, yeah, because that's just their body. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> science <laughs> nerd. No problem. <laughs> there we go, right? Why the fuck can't I change these guys? Uh, enter a new value into the box or enter a modification, like plus five or minus three. Then we'll add or subtract from the current number. Press enter the save. Oh, I'm not pressing enter. That's the reason why. Oh, enter. Bam! Damn that it. does it. You're pressing control alt delete by mistake. <laughs> Minus 5, minus 10. I'll just do 1. I know how to do 11 minus 10. And pretty, then pretty after easy. I do that, I uh, I am going to... Sh I I, boy. Oh, boy. Hide under the table. I can't, I, I can't run away or I get attacked. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Attacks of opportunity. That's yes. a problem. I just have to, I uh, guess, uh, fall down unconsciously. <laughs> Okay, well now you know why Tarina needed all this help. Yeah. You guys are assholes. Oh my goodness. And there's other drinks too much. Eat of them. Yeah. Back. Oh, oh Brad, it's your turn. Yeah. I know, but I thought you were still working that out. Okay. No, it's done. Blood. Okay. Uh, 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 first question. Yeah. Uh, does the captain have his back to me now? Uh, yes. So I should be able to use my surprise attack. Um, surprise attack is, uh, if you, what is surprise attack? Uh, that's the bugbear thing, right? What exactly yes. does it say? Um, it is a bugbear thing. <laughs> <laughs> Correct. It's yeah. a bugbear thing for, for us. It's a bugbear thing for us. Instead of treated, get killed. <laughs> oh, bugbear. Hi, oh, you like stealth. <laughs> If you call these clothes, they're fine. <laughs> My armpits stink of pine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Jamsaw says, don't forget, Brad, you also have inspiration to use. Oh, God. Oh, it's true. We're going to have to use those things. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Looking up rules. This is the first time in a long time I've been stabbed in the armpits so bad. <laughs> <laughs> Armpit scars are the worst. By the way, this dude smells of rotten fish, Ooh. Uh, nasty like piss and mm. watered down ale, and then there's this little slight scent of like lemony, limey, citrusy zest mm. to prevent scurvy. That Good thing. To <laughs> it doesn't do anything to cover it up. Mm. Pretty sure this dude hasn't bathed, maybe ever. I, I, I tried to bathe him in his own blood, but it didn't work. <laughs> uh, why am I not finding it? Uh, oh, it's okay. It's because it's stressful. Uh, may I use uh, my bonus action? Uh, of course. Okay. Uh, so I cast a Thunder Wave, and it did what it did. And mm -hmm. then I'm going to cast uh, Shillelagh. Oh, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, because... Uh, if you the rule is if you cast a spell as a bonus action, then the only other spell you can cast is a cantrip. But one of them is a cantrip, the other one's a regular. So, I guess it's only if I surprise a creature. Okay, yeah. So it's only if you have a surprise round. So if you had rolled higher on your stealth check, then yeah, then you would have. But okay. they were able to see you, sadly. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cast Hunter's Mark on the captain, Fantastic. which is a bonus action. So, uh, so you, so you whisper a quick uh, spell, prayer to your god, or, uh, and uh, this, this like arrow appears above the captain's head, just like 
bouncing up and down. Nice. And you're like, he's right here! Right here! <laughs> nice. What did Only you he can see it. Hunter's Mark. That's a good old World of Warcraft reference for... Uh, <laughs> is that something that only works helps you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, you and uh, longbow attack. Okay. Um, fifteen. A fifteen is a hit. Ooh, Excellent. Just so. Excellent. Uh, so this be one d eight plus one d six plus your dex plus my dex. Mm -hmm. Uh, two, five, uh, ten. No, Damn. seven, seven, seven. Two, okay, seven damage. Yep. All right. So uh, out from uh, the stairs, uh, an arrow whistles into the crowd, uh, avoiding hitting any of the, uh, the commoners in the way, partially thanks to your uh, high ground and your foresight mm -hmm. for that. And it embeds itself in this captain's shoulder. And uh, he growls and then takes his scimitar and just snaps the arrow, like, in half. And uh, while it was a pretty good hit, it didn't seem to really phase him that much. Either he's way too drunk to feel pain, or he's <laughs> just kind of a bit tougher customer than me. Right. All right, now you can go piss yourself if you Thanks. want. Thanks. <laughs> um, are you moving or anything, Brad? Uh, I think I'll stay where I am for the moment. Okay. Aaron. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm not going to need to move, so I'm going to, I can do one action and a bonus action. You can do a standard action, a move action, and a bonus action. Okay, great. I'm going to, hmm, I have to decide whether I want to attack the, um, the pirate captain. Oh, the two guys who failed their save, they get knocked back ten feet. Oh, right. Everybody gets knocked back. Um, and people who failed. People who failed. Well, uh, okay, I'll say that that, uh, that one guy was... He's kind of staying close enough to the door that he gets uh, knocked out of the door right there. Okay. The other guy get knocked into the night? Yeah, this guy gets knocked uh, directly back into his buddy and just kind of, like, stops there. It, uh, oh, and another thing that happens, it actually shatters both of these windows. Uh, you see the windows, like, right above Skuna? Oh, yeah. Those are both shattered, Oops. and it, it emits a loud sound. That is audible up to a few hundred feet away. Oh shit! Yeah. Well, yeah. It could break a few eggs and make an omelet. <laughs> it might have even wrecked some of those uh, the table right in front of you and the the stools. Might have done a bit of damage to them as well. But hey, it fucking rocked all these pirates. <laughs> like that's a lot of damage if you add it all together. I think I know what I'm gonna do, and it's gonna be silly. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron, do you know <laughs> what you're gonna do? That's gonna be silly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use catapult. <laughs> Uh, not a catapult. No, not a catapult. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to look for the nearest stein. <laughs> I assume they're made out of uh, pewter or some some such. Sure, you find a pewter stein that's sitting on a shelf somewhere. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm going to send it at. Hmm, who should I send it at? I could send it at the captain, but it seems like he's really hard to hit, or he has good saves. So, I think I'll just try to take out one of the. Well, no, I'm going to send. I'm going to. You know what? I'm, I'm going to go for the gold. I'm going to go for the. Here's the thing, uh, with the captain. Uh, oh, you're you're standing on table. Okay, so you have a good you could have a good shot at the captain without any cover because right. your, your table plan. Yes. Um and yeah. Okay, great. I'm gonna take a shot at the captain. Why not? Alrighty. All right. So um, here's what I got to do. It's a spell attack, right? Yes. The Save. creature must make a dexterity saving throw. Oh. I don't even have to roll. Dex saving throw. Yeah, if he oh. fails his dex save, then we're in business. I see, I see. All right, here it comes. Got 14. What's your uh, spell saving throw DC? Spell saving throw DC is right there. Right there. I think it's a 13. It's 13. Did he fucking save? He fucking God saved. God damn it. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, bro. He's got a plus three to that deck saving. No, he's got a plus five to his deck Crazy. saving. I knew I shouldn't have tried to kill him. Yeah. That was a waste. Does it do nothing? If it does it nothing. Misses? Yep. Oof. So that was a fail. It just, like, bounces off of him. Oh, boy. Um. All right, so I'm going to, for bonus action, I'm going to send a magic stone at that guy. Uh, what is this uh, bonus action uh, that you're doing? It's a cantrip. Oh, it's a bonus action cantrip? Yep. yep. Oh, cool. 
So I'm th uh, hurling a pebble at him. Okay. Which, uh, I have to roll to hit. Now that guy, the the red guy, he's uh, he's looking almost dead. Is he almost dead? Yeah, I'm gonna try to finish him off. Okay. Mm, smoke his boots. Red guy. I'm gonna yeah, smoke his boots. Yeah, yeah baby. I'm gonna smoke his boots. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, do I get a bonus? No. Because he's he's not like disabled or anything. No. <laughs> he's just hurt. Uh, do to do target to do a bit. What's my bonus then? Just dex. Uh, it's a spell attack, so you add. Um, unless I mean, not, it says sorry, not differently. Dex, intelligence, sixteen. Uh, that plus your proficiency bonus. Okay, eighteen. Eighteen is a hit. Nice. Yay! Look what at those a good time moves. we're having. I'm gonna do so much damage to him. Pull up your applause. It's so oh. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's my spell attack bonus. Okay, nice. so I'm gonna get a. Uh, let's see, the, your spellcasting ability modifier. <laughs> Which is going to be three, so seven points. Seven points, nice. more than enough. As a bonus. Yeah. you destroy this man. Yay, Yay! Magic stoned him to death. What does he turn to now? Oh, a nothing. <laughs> yeah, he's gone. <laughs> yep. So you you fling a pewter mug at the captain, who deftly dodges out of the way. Uh, and then you just kind of flick a pebble at this other guy, <laughs> hits him right between the, the eyes, and he just kind of goes cross-eyed and falls over. Okay, very nice. Oh, and I'm using my wrench to do all these things. Of course. Yes. So you're pointing your wrench at the, yep. at the pewter. Guiding the pewter mug and then the stone, <laughs> boom, with my wrench. Yeah, Excellent. but now it's them. Yes, it is now them. Oh, goodbye, everyone. <sighs> um, okay, well... Well, the... The thing about this is it's actually much harder to die than it was in 3.5. That's true. That's oh. true. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one in the back who is no longer asleep because uh, he got fucking thunder waved here. Mm. Uh, okay. So, yeah, I'll start with the one closest to, uh, to Dion. Um, yeah, so these guys heard you guys, uh, heard you say some magical words and mm -hmm. then they fell asleep. And then they were blasted awake, and, and this guy stands up, and he's looking around. He sees Skuna. He knows Skuna's not a spellcaster, but he sees you standing there, like, <laughs> you know, looking all fighty. And he's just like, ah! and he, like, rushes at you. Uh, and this provokes an attack of opportunity from yeah. Skuna. Hey! Yeah. Oh, nice. That's my girl. Yep, here or she goes. Woman, whatever. Burr, burr, burr. She's like, you're not taking out my buddy. I yeah. love him. <laughs> He's my butt buddy. Oh, my God. Oh, oh 21. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, girl. Yeah. Yeah. Skuna decap. No, she doesn't decapitate him. She chops his whole body in half. Yeah, he deserved it. Yeah. Leave me alone, man. You just get sprayed with blood. <laughs> Human pirate stinking blood. <laughs> nice. That guy's gone. Okay. The second guy sees that happen and is like, whoa, no way. <laughs> uh, and he's going to... Oh, boy, what would he do? He just saw his friend get chopped in half. Ah, uh, he's a drunk pirate. He's going to go attack Skuna. Is the animated armor in play? Uh, nobody paid it. And... Oh, so we could have paid the armor. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. Jamsaw says... The man in the back said everyone attacked, but they had been thunderwaved. <laughs> okay, so this pirate swings the man in the deck. his uh, scimitar at Skuna and hits her. Oh, no. Oh, how uh, dare you? Oh, Son of a bitch. Yeah. My queen. Not Skuna. Two. Two we damage. We go way back. Yeah, deals two whole damage. Oh, my God. Come on. Oof. All right. Going back inside, we got this guy. He saw you fling a stone at his best friend. <laughs> so he's going to run up here and he's going to give you the old in out, in out with his scimitar. Oof. Mm. The old fashioned. Yeah. Mm. Only Ooh. gets a six. Yeah, <laughs> suck it. Miss. Yeah. Suck it. Skadoosh. Oh, where are the rest of them going to go? Um, he's going to pay for that shit. Yeah. Oh, boy. He's got a wrench. <laughs> uh, you do. Well, this guy saw somebody shooting from over in the rafters. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Okay. He's got a light crossbow. Um, he's gonna go ahead and draw that, and he's gonna f he's gonna pop a shot over at. Uh, he's got disadvantage, doesn't he? Disadvantage because he's at a lower height. Uh, not disadvantage, but you're definitely getting cover. You're getting a right. plus uh, two to your armor class. Okay. 
Um, and then, so, yeah, light crossbow, plus two to your AC. He only gets a ten. That's nothing. It's a bink. miss. Bink, bink. Uh, this Bunk. guy back here, Bunk. oh, man. He is going to move around and try to finish off this druid. Oh, and that is a 16. That's a hit. Damn. Okay. Boom. Oh, no. So, <laughs> yeah, he draws his scimitar, slashes you in the back as you're preparing your next spell. And yeah. you kind of fall down to the ground. No, okay. things aren't looking good for old... Uh, for not as low. Also. Can I only cast my uh, Bardic Inspiration on my turn? Yeah, as a bonus action, you okay. can do that. Yeah. Then do you want me to keep track of the negative hit points I'm at right now? Oh, don't care about negative. Just yeah. put yourself at okay. zero. Zero. I'm at zero. Hey, fall down, though. Okay. Uh, the captain, seeing that you are currently indisposed, uh, <laughs> I'll put a skull there for dying. You're taking a shower. Uh, <laughs> I also haven't done this guy. Uh, let's see. What will the captain do? The captain doesn't see Tarina anywhere, because she's actually upstairs. So he is going to start moving towards the stairs. Five. This guy will go around these people. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. He gets there. Um, again, you're going to have a bonus to your AC because he's kind of attacking around a corner. Uh, but uh, he will go ahead and attack you. Now, wait a minute. There. What? I'm pretty sure Brad has the higher ground. He does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. Which is why he's getting a bonus to his AC. <laughs> Okay. So, as long as the captain isn't Obi-Wan, you should be fine. Mm -hmm. Alright. Bandit captain. For Coslo! For Coslo! Coslo! I've got the higher ground. Three attacks. Two with a scimitar, one with his dagger. Whatever. Oh, can I just click this button? Uh, no. Okay, that just says that. That's funny. <laughs> okay. Scimitar. Miss. Oh, oh no! Second scimitar is a crit for seven damage. Ouch. He's doing a lot of things on him. <sighs> and Damn. another hit for five damage. Brad dead. Ooh. All right. Uh, hold oh, on a second. Oh no. Oh boy. Huh. See how this works. Uh, hmm. I'll just. Hmm. Hold on a second. Yep. Yeah. Hold on. Hold. Hold it. Hold, Hold. it. I'm holding it. Our whole party's going to die. It's going to be great. No. <laughs> no. We, we're in good with uh, Alan, the bartender. He'll, uh, he'll, he'll pull out a shotgun and take care of business. No, he'll give us bread pudding while we die. <laughs> <laughs> he'll he didn't like that I moved that table. No, <laughs> that might have ruined the good vibes that were yeah, in place I think by I've, race. Yeah, it's too late now. Hmm. We're screwed. Hmm. Uh, that would have to be an action, I guess. Yeah, Jamstown makes a good point. Can he use inspiration to save himself? Yeah, you can use inspiration to give disadvantage on an attack roll. Oh, for good point. Enemy. I yeah. should have done that when I attacked the captain. <clears throat> um, can I do that on his second roll? Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll let you go okay. ahead retroactively, but try to remember um, yeah. for future to do it pro uh, proactively. But sure, it's first fucking session. So yeah, yeah. So uh, the second roll is a ten, so that's a miss. So you don't take that dagger to the to the jaw. Okay. Excellent. Okay, then it goes to thank. Oh, who who are we thanking for that? By the way, was that Jamsaw? That's yeah. That? Yeah, you should thank Jamsaw. Thanks, Jamsaw. Okay, now it's schooner time. Come on, baby. Good time. Uh, well, she's got a pirate in front of her who has dared uh, yeah. graze her lovely legs. Oh, fool, man. I've seen those legs. They're great. Yeah. Super hairless. <laughs> uh, yeah. So she's going to two-hand her battle axe and just yeah. bring it down on this Let's guy. Get it. Good. Oh. Good. 22 to hit. Get out of here. 13 slashing. She powered. She chops him in half, but the other way. <laughs> I love symmetry. I get it. Yeah. The, the long way? This one's in the long way? Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. And then she moves in. Mm, yeah. Yeah, girl. Yeah. Yeah. And this guy starts sweating. Maybe she can yeah, next to her. Does yeah. she have cleave? Oh, I wish. <laughs> She doesn't even have multi-attack, so, but she does a lot of damage. Oh, it's a good with that thing we befriended her. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah. By hiding in another. Oh, man, that's how I get them, man. You know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so next, next thing that happens is all the con- commoners go. Uh, this oh, yeah. this thing, you know, they've they've seen this type of shit go down before, so they all kind of know the drill. Mm. They just move into nearby rooms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, these two just kind of sit down on these uh, couches and start smoking some pipes. <laughs> I respect it. <laughs> This guy walks in here, and uh, they just kind of have a seat at this table and continue playing their game. Uh, this lady, uh, so the bartender does. Yeah, she. Uh, oh, sweet Alice. She's actually been looking for a reason to escape those four guys. Oh. And so she uh, she takes this opportunity she to cheese it. Yeah, cheese it. She's actually going to go uh, into the kitchen where she's probably not allowed, but like there's a fight going on. So yeah. This person up on the couch on the north is actually uh, drunk and passed out on the couch, so they don't go anywhere. Uh, and these people move into the now empty room that doesn't have a table in it because some jackass moved it. <laughs> oh, this guy's kind of stuck in the middle of everything. Uh, he's going to move away, but in the confusion, provokes an attack of opportunity from both of these pirates. <laughs> oh, no. And uh, wow. they just kind of are swinging their uh, scimitars willy nilly. That one misses. Next one misses. Oh, <laughs> yes. Way to go, stranger. <laughs> and he just kind of has a seat at the bar. As you do. <laughs> exactly. Okay, finally, Dion. Dion's turn. Race. Okay, so are they dead, dead? No. Okay. Um, uh, who? Who? I'm speaking of my man's here. Coslo. Coslo! Oh. Yeah, he's um, unconscious. He's bleeding out. Uh, all right, so. I'm stuck between a rock and a hard place. I want to do one of two things, but I only got one spell slot left for the day. So yeah, Tom's time first to off, use it, my friend. First off, bardic inspiration needs to happen. I got to start using that. It's a thing of mine. Um, All right. How um, close do they have to be? Actually, folks can't even see where you are currently. Yeah, you're way outside there. Yeah, he's uh, oh. he's way down there. Okay. You can see him now. Don't mind that guy in the corner. That's just my little DM uh, oh, okay. token. <laughs> All right. You only have 20 movement, right? Is that right? Um, 25. 25. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I could get to, like, the door. I'm going to stay behind Schooner for the whole fight, let's be honest. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's my bit. Um, mm, you can give I, her inspiration. I've got at least another round with a death save before I get real okay. serious about dying. Um... I want to heal, and I also want to... Mm. Well, that's the nice thing about... You took healing word, right? I did, I did. So that's a bonus action. It means you can't use inspiration in the same turn, but you could cast your cantrip with your action mm. and still use healing word. Ooh, so I could healing word plus... Oh, shit! Vicious mockery. Roast that ass. I'm going to roast that ass. <laughs> yeah. Well, let me make sure, like, the the feet for it, because uh, I got words and feelings. Can't wait to see <laughs> what you say to him. 60 feet? Oh, you motherfuckers going to get it. All right. Um, hey, pirate <laughs> asshole. <laughs> First off, way to attack the nicest guy on the team. What a fucking coward. And you're going up the stairs. You can't even handle me. How you going to handle a bugbear? Your mama's a bitch. Listen, also, I heard about you from my friend Tarina, and she said you got a little baby dick and you don't know how to use it. You're mostly a pirate. You're trying to find the sacred treasure of a decent cock. Fuck you, <laughs> fuck your life. Ah, kiss my ass. <laughs> also, healing word <laughs> on Coslo. <laughs> Bravo, sir. <laughs> um, it says I have to do a what a one d four for the uh, vicious mockery. Uh, I'm not sure if you want to read it to make sense of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, so he gets to make a saving throw. Okay. A uh, wisdom saving throw. Here we go. Uh, oh. oh, all right. Well, oh, you too smart. He starts. Yeah, he starts mm, okay. kind of shaking his head, okay. and you see him take some wax out of his pocket, and then just kind of mash it into his Ooh. ears. <laughs> okay, I'll right see. Right so. when you're starting to get rolled. That's fair. This is like, awkward. anyways. <laughs> um, so it doesn't unfortunately do anything, you, but. The the healing word still goes off. Uh, healing word. Uh, is it just? Uh, it's a D four plus your charisma bonus. Oh, okay. So what else the D four? Uh, they look like yeah. Trends. Wait, he can do the wax, not on his turn. <laughs> so D four plus my charisma. Well, it's supposed to happen simultaneously, right? I don't know what that means. Is Alternatively, it, he just didn't find four. it very oh, so, insulting. Okay, I guess I got a four. <laughs> 
And so is my charisma the top number or the bottom number? Uh, the top one. Okay, so seven for a heal. Uh, uh, Arise, chicken! Uh, uh, <laughs> Arise, chicken. <laughs> Perfect. All right, please I'll, let that be your line from now on. Yes. I'll give you inspiration for your amazing insult and that uh, chicken. <laughs> Woo! Hey, 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 hey. Don't forget, you can also... Uh, give your inspiration to another player. Oh, sure. I still can. Oh, um, and that's no action. Yep. Schooner, most likely. <coughs> uh, Schooner. You, you can decide to do it in the moment. Yeah, in the moment. Oh, so I can yeah. I can just keep it. Mm -hmm. All right, deal. Then we. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Groovy. <laughs> okay, finally back up to the top. Uh, Captain. Captain. Captain Crunch. Grimjaw says that should be a sound alert. Arise, chicken. <laughs> oh, you know what? I totally yeah. fucked. I fucked shit up. He shouldn't up. have been able to attack The me. captain shouldn't have been able to attack Thank you, no. Thank you. Get that, get that health back. He's actually And that back inspiration here. point back. Yeah, and your inspiration wow. point back. Wow, sweet. I wonder hey. we were almost uh, 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 what, I mean, he could have moved. What were we thinking? We were all distracted by the danger. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, I, I had him go with all the other pirates. Totally forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, that's... Okay, so now he's going to move up. Mm-hmm. Do you, and, I mean, do you want me to just re-roll all that, or... Uh, you should just take the damage. Or just take the damage. Just replay it. Well, I, can I use my inspiration this time around to help? But he... Oh, this turn he's going to do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, we'll just say he just I, did it so this turn. So he couldn't turn. hit you all three times Yeah, time. Yeah. Uh, I'll just take it. Otherwise, yeah. he might fucking kill you. Yeah, let's but, just say it happened now. Yeah. All right, so it all happened now. Uh, Captain's turn's done. Jason. Uh, did I get Shillelagh? I wouldn't have... Uh, is it concentration? I don't think uh, it is. It, it's uh, it's not concentration. It lasts a minute. It's still on then. All right. Bonking that ass next to me there. Okay. So you uh, you stand up, um, and as part of that action, you draw your staff mm -hmm. and bonk him. All right. Uh, so 18 to hit. Hit. And uh, seven bludgeoning. Seven bludgeoning. Mm. He is dead. Hey, we back, baby. Oh, crack. Oh yeah. Things are clearing up, and you can take that little skull off me too. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I still think you're kind of dead looking. A yeah, little bit injured, but okay. All right. Do you want to move bonus action any of that? Uh, yes. I will run toward the... Well, let's see. There's this pirate right here who hasn't had anything happen to him yet. Well, he's next to a, a half-ogre, though. Uh, yeah, I'm going to... Uh, I'm gonna head, this, what is this one doing? I'm going to head toward the stairs it, without getting into his his range. His melee range. Weak. Yep. I'm going to... Well, I want to be like close enough so I can cast something mm -hmm. on the pirate captain, but not so close that somebody can hit me with a scimitar. Okay. Um, sure. Do you have any bonus Five, things you can do? 10, 15. Mm -hmm. Bonus cantrips or anything? Um, nothing that, no. Nothing that will, will help anyone. Okay. This. Do you want to end up, like, right there? Yeah, that's a really that's a really good spot to be in. I like that spot a lot. Okay. Sounds good to me. Yeah, I don't um, have any bonus action stuff. I'm just going to mark this guy with... Uh, I don't have any bony action. I don't have any bony action. There's no bony action. Don't forget him. Okay. Uh, after Jason is Brad. Okay. I think he's not wounded very much. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is kind of lean back, uh, towards the top of the stairs and say, A little help here! <laughs> um, <laughs> and then I'm going to use, uh, Tireless which I can add 1d10 plus wisdom modifier temporary hit points. Ah, yes. That is a new uh, unearthed arcana ranger uh, change. Uh, <laughs> what'd you get? Oh, one. Uh, uh, so I get th two, three more hit points. Hey, it's better than nothing. Uh, but yeah, we're using the latest um, unearthed arcana uh, specifically for rangers. And so you're able to trade out a couple of your more useless first level Unless uh, somebody abilities. wants to right. give me their inspiration. I'm going to need it. Can I inspire my men? To reroll that d10? Yes. I'll allow it. Come on, baby, you're great. Kick some ass out here. You're the big, strong guy. Be mm -hmm. big and strong. Mm -hmm. For the streets. <laughs> Better. For the streets. <laughs> I get seven now. Uh, hey. Mark that. Let's oh, save you from a scimitar slash. Thank you, little friend. Oh, I'm always here for you, buddy. 
Wait, why do I talk like you? Because <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Yeah, I love that you're still standing outside the door just shouting <laughs> into the building. This man most fights. Hey, you do things. I'm going to be here. Yeah. You guys got this? There aren't any windows he's, there. He's, it's just an open space. I just hide behind the large woman, you know? Very much our hype man right now. <laughs> um, what are standard... Wait, I, uh, I he, can do... Is disengage a movement action? Disengage is a stand is a regular action. Okay. Yeah. Right. I think this was more important, perhaps. Um, what are your standard uh, bonus actions? Uh, there actually are no uh, bonus actions that are universal. Uh, okay. Um, I, I can switch to a sword. Sure. That's uh, yeah. That's uh, so move action. You can interact with one one object for free as part of a move action. Right. <clears throat> Um, so you currently have a longbow, right? But then you just let go of uh, with one hand, and then right. as part of a move action, draw your sword, right? And then you can still attack. Huh. Um, you could also there's another option for an uh, action which is to dodge, uh -huh. and that gives disadvantage on all attack rolls against you, and you have advantage on uh, dexterity. But that's an there. action. That is your action. Yeah, you can't attack. So I've already used I've already used tire tireless. Oh, okay. That's an action to activate. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you uh, you take a moment to like really just kind of catch your breath mm -hmm. after that slashes, and uh, you 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 fucking ready yourself for another couple of blows because you got to stop this captain from getting up these stairs and killing your mark. Right. Uh, okay, Aaron, your turn. All right. Um, so there's the the uh, bandit pirate right next to me. I'm going to um, raise my wrench. And he hears a in, an incredibly thunderously loud sound of me saying wrench. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and he has to make a uh, Constitution saving throw. You constitution must throw. raise the wrench. Are you uh, are you casting a spell here? Yes, I am. Which one? It's a cantrip. Thunderclap. Thunderclap. Ooh, Ooh nice. Uh, I'm wrenching uh, him. <laughs> Constitution saving throw. Here we go. We got a thirteen. That is a pass. That is a pass. Unless I use inspiration. No, I better use it to save myself. I'm not going to use yeah, it. Yeah, probably. God damn it. Oh, also, like I said, you got to use inspiration beforehand. Oh. So we got to try to remember that. Like beforehand, so. like before someone attacks you? Yep. Before somebody attacks you, you say, I'm using inspiration. You have disadvantage. Oh. Okay. That's good to know. Or, I'm using inspiration. I have advantage, etc. Cool. Okay. Um... So, yep, you you issue forth your wrench, and you try to summon forth some magical force uh, to kind of blow him out of the way, and he just kind of, like, sidesteps it. Okay. And uh, that pewter cup that you flung across the room gets knocked around the room some more. Wow. So, it's like American beauty. Since he's standing right next to me, I can't do a range attack, I assume. You can. You just have disadvantage. Okay. I'm going to try uh, bonus action magic stone, then. Okay. <laughs> All right, you can roll with disadvantage. If you want to use your inspiration, you can right. roll as yeah, that... just regular. Uh, nope, I'll roll with the disadvantage. That's fine. I'm going to roll really good. I didn't. Oh. <laughs> Seven. All right. Well, this guy threatening you is just throwing you off your game. Uh, and next it goes to the pirates. Where? What about me? Uh, Jason, you were supposed to go before Brad. True. How did yeah. I skip you? I was, I True. Know. Didn't you go? Don't did you have you, a computer I you telling attacked. you everything? I thought, yeah, you totally... I moved. What? You attacked and moved. That was last Oh, round. yeah, I killed yeah. the guy, and then I moved. Yeah, that happened. Yeah. Oh, did. yes, I killed the man. Oh, I, oh, 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 I killed the so man much blood yeah. seven seconds ago, and I've already <laughs> forgotten about it. I mean, I know I fuck up initiative all the time. Oh, no, it's <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, next up, the pirates. I'm not going to have the captain go. It's going to be cheating. Um, let's start with the guy who's given Aaron all the problems. Yeah. Yeah. Old problem Charlie. Here we go. Scimitar to the face. Six to hit. Nope. Ha ha. Nice. Would have done seven damage though. Mm, yeah. Mm. Okay. This guy, uh. I block it with my wrench. <laughs> this guy. Mm. Well, I remember this guy back here, he had uh, the his crossbow drawn, which is a little bit unfortunate because now he's got a schooner to contend with. Mm. Yeah. You fool! They um, never expect a schooner. 
This guy's just, I guess, going to walk up and slash on that druid again. You can try. Okay. <laughs> and you can succeed. Ten misses. Hey! What adult. Okay, so this guy here unfortunately dropped his scimitar for his uh, crossbow, and so I guess he's going to shoot with disadvantage at Skuna. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Before she murders him. Legendary poor choice. Okay. <laughs> got an eight to hit, which is a miss. That was quite ineffectual. And that is all of them. Mm. Okay. That, 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 that's about all of them. Next up, Skuna. Yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. I forgot about this pirate behind. What? Is there a pirate behind Skuna? The pirate behind Skuna. No, no that's story. him. Dion. Dion. Hey. Often confused. Oh, okay. <laughs> Disembodied Sorry. Dion. There's a, there's a dead pirate, which is still visible on my screen. Oh, okay. Literally oh. in the same space oh. as Actually, Dion. Uh, no, he's two pirates now. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Remember? Two half pirates. Oh, right, right. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Two half servings. All right. There's a pyre <laughs> and an eight. <laughs> okay, so next up is Skuna, who will Just probably murdered. chop a third guy. Annihilate. Annihilate. Yeah. Uh, oh! Oh, no! Only an eight to hit. Oof. This is, uh, she swings and she misses. She probably steps on some of that broken glass and <laughs> cuts her foot a little bit. She's oh, like, Arr! and she just slams the axe into the ground. He has a bonus action. She should pay the armor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Definitely. Touch its nose. <laughs> All right, Dion. <sighs> Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to roast the motherfucker closest to Skuna. Uh, hey, you! You're not even smart enough to be the leader of a bunch of pirates? You're a fucking idiot! Hey, I bet you couldn't hit me if you tried. I'm too tiny for the hit. You're a coward. Kill yourself. All right. And... <laughs> All right, wisdom saving throw. Fail! Oh. You stupid as hey. hell, boy! Look at your dumb ass. <laughs> All right. Now what happens to him? Takes a D4 psychic damage, is disadvantage on his next attack roll. Oh, uh, nice. And uh, I don't, I can't use any more spells, so you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use message and try to make the uh, the pirate captain just hear something in his ear because it goes inside their head, and maybe it'll distract him. It probably won't do anything. Well, here's the thing. Uh, oh. Uh, vicious mockery is a regular action, okay. and message is also a regular action. Oh, you can't do both. I can only do bonus actions. But I, yeah, you can inspire. That's right, I can. Do, uh, um, you got to roll D4 your D4 damage. for the oh, psychic damage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, this was it. Yep. Three. Okay. Yeah. Psychic damage inspire me. Guys, teetering on the edge of death. Good. Um, I will inspire Brad. <sighs> Oh, do I got to roll anything, or Ooh. does he just get it? Actually, I don't know if you can see Brad currently. Mm, that's a good question. Um, no you got to be able to see to inspire. Yeah, you can see the Bobby. You can see the Bobby. Then let's do it to the Bobby. Yeah, you can see. Uh, you can see. Uh, um, oh my God, Jason's character. Uh, oh, Jason. Oh yeah, because like, I guess he's on the stairs. Coslo, yeah. Yeah. You can see Coslo. Okay. Just oh. wait until one of us do- is about to do something and then inspire us. Deal. Yeah. On his sight? No. Mm. Yes. <laughs> this is blocking. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's fine. All right, I'll I'll wait. That was a good advice. Okey doke. Then it goes to the captain. Oh boy, here comes. Now wait a minute. No, I gotta wait. If he's gonna do something, if I'm gonna use inspiration, if he use it, yeah. I guess you can't use it on him now. I'm Brad. Oh, right, because he's too. Okay. Okay. I can see Brad. I think this guy is almost toast. Um, For the special inspiration. Uh, like not bardic inspiration, but for the like a special inspiration, there are no rules as far as like line of sight. Doesn't require actions, none of that. So you can choose. You're just giving it to the player. Yeah, you just give it to the player, and then does he just it. would he just give him disadvantage on one of his rolls or all of just them? one? If he gives his, his and you wouldn't know one. which roll it is, a hit or a miss. Yeah, exactly. Do you want the inspiration? I think there's a good chance he'll knock me out. All right, then. Take it. Thank you. Okay. Use it wisely. You're going to use it on his first step? Oh, well, fuck. which has the most possibility so, for damage? Wait, wait, Scimitar oh, does I also damage. have inspiration you gave me. You want to save yours and I'll give him mine? Because I have a regular inspiration also. Is that doable? Yeah, whatever so you guys want. If he keeps his... Uh, <laughs> you can also both give yours to him. Although technically you only have one at a time, so oh, okay. he would have to spend it, and then you could give him yours. But uh, I feel like he'll need his more. I'm outside safe, mm-hmm. so uh, Brad has my regular inspiration. I'll take it off. Okay. okay. All right, I'll go with the first scimitar attack. Okay, first scimitar attack, disadvantage. Uh, 14 is a miss. Nice. Yeah. 
Second scimitar attack. Now, are you getting the given advantage a second time or anything? Just gonna be straight attack? I do not know. Uh, I only had the one regular. I can't see him with the bar. Well, he has one. How many hit points do you have? Uh, I have 12 right now with my temporary. So. Let's see how it goes on this one, yeah. and then if you need it for the third one. All right, great. All right. Second scimitar attack. Erg. 24, Ooh. five damage. Okay. Mm, dagger attack. That's a tough one. Okay, Get, take the inspiration. <laughs> okay. All right, disadvantage. Are you gonna? Yep. Are you gonna use inspiration? Yeah, you are. Okay. Fifteen. Oh, Miss. Woo wee. <sighs> All right. Thank you. So I don't know what happened, but <laughs> the gods are smiling on you this day. <laughs> okay, great. Perhaps the pirate failed to pray to Umberly before he uh, set off on his last voyage. He pray to his Umbril. Yeah. <laughs> Umber Umberly's like, "Fuck you, dude." Jason, <laughs> your turn. All right, uh, Shillelagh, I'm going to beat this pirate into death. Please do. Uh, ooh. Um. That's not good. Oof. What's uh, what am I aiming for here? I got uh, eight to hit. That is a miss. Yeah. <laughs> Anything less than a ten, you okay. don't even need to ah. ask. Okay. Ugh. You swing your staff wildly, and even with its magical properties, it still fails. It bonks off this guy's shield. Ah. Uh, or his leather armor. I mean. We'll get okay. Next time. Doing anything else, buddy? Um. Uh, there's nothing I can do. All right, Brad. All right, I'm going to grapple this son of a bitch <gasps> and fall down the stairs on him. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let go. All right. Hey. Okay, so that is an opposed athletics check. Nice. Sweet. <clears throat> athletics. Okay, so here's my athletics. I got a 17. You got him. Shit. Oh. No. Uh, I have an 8. Mm. Okay. Okay. Well, you reach for him, and uh, he's stronger than he looks, and he and he, actually he's slippery. He's covered in greasy, mm. nasty fish guts. Filthy. And he pissed himself a couple times in the past <laughs> week, and you just kind of slide off of his mm. greasy body. If it wasn't for that, you would have got him. Pirates are known to grease themselves before combat. <laughs> <laughs> so you fall down the stairs and take twenty damage. <laughs> Do you fall? Does he fall past um, him? Do you, yeah. Do you wish to like get past him or anything? Um, because I'll let you take a uh, another check to try and get past him if you want. Yeah, I'd love to get past him. Yeah. Okay. So that. Oop, don't, oh wait, ignore no, that. That, that, that does allow him to go upstairs. Hmm. Hmm. I should probably be a human meat shield for him. Well, you're not a human. Mm. Well, that's true. Me, me He's just gonna pick one up and yeah. Um, a bug shield. Mm. If I if I leave, he he gets one attack of opportunity, right? If you leave with his threatened squared, then yes, he will get one attack of opportunity. Okay. But he's the one who put him there, right? What on the on the failed grapple check? He's oh so, no. Basically, oh, okay, what I'm allowing you. Brad to do is during his movement. He can choose to try and vault over the uh, railing, oh, right? Okay. Which will be a fairly low, but not insignificantly low, acrobatics check. Okay. And if he succeeds, he can just land on the other square right. diagonal to him. Well, I did warn her. I think that there was stuff going on down here. Yeah, she knows. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Okay. Yep. You're gonna try and save your hide a little bit. And, yeah. Okay. So go ahead. It's a DC 10 acrobatics. To vault over that ring. Ten. <laughs> Ten. All right. Well, you got it. You uh, you just kind of you take the the missed opportunity for a grapple, and you just kind of slip over the railing and land on the stairs on the other side. Uh, okay. After Brad is Aaron. Can I land down here? Um. Yeah. You could do that. Uh. Yeah. That's not a far enough fall to actually hurt you. So yeah. Great. I produce a flame at the end of my wrench, and I oh, smite shit. a bitch. Smite a bitch. Do it. Bard of Inspiration for Aaron. Uh, You're the goat. 22. That's a hit. And that's going to do 1d8. Flaming wrench. That's right. Flaming wrench. You didn't get the Bard of Inspiration off. I don't no, think. You didn't need to. Is there Apparently a not, dude. To I'm not mad at it. Is there a damage bonus? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what right? is the attack? It's a uh, magic, uh, well, it's a, a ranged spell attack. Oh, so you have disadvantage on the attack roll. I do. Because you're in melee. It's a ranged attack oh, roll. Oh, yeah, you're right. Mm, ah, that's so stupid. This is produce flame? Yes. Okay. 
Yeah. You wouldn't think that that would require this, but uh, I rolled the same thing for both of them. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. All right. How much was the damage? Uh, it was two plus whatever modifier there would be. There's no modifier. All right. Two points choose. then. Well, two don't points. you also do the wrench damage? No, because no, it was a. I was just. I was hurling flames at him out of my wrench. Gotcha. And then I hurl a stone at him out of my wrench. All right. Well, you're plunking away at this guy, but uh, honestly, this pirate has given your artificer buddy a little bit of problems. The well, baby. He's not really a fire. The Bobby. The Bobby. The Bobby. The Bobby. Anything else, Eric? Yeah, I'm also sending another stone at him. Okay. And it's the same. What is the? Uh, oh, it's just the same thing. I guess it's a disadvantage. It is. All right, so that's going to be a 13. That is a hit. Yes. Let's see if you can finish him off, dude. He's got, like, no health left. Five. That's enough. Boom. <laughs> Bam. <sighs> Whew. How many pebbles you had to throw at this guy? <laughs> Are you moving right. anywhere? It's looking all right. It's looking all right. Okay, now I'll move over and engage the one that's attacking Kozlo. You're going to engage it in melee? No. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go right here and get within sight of him so I can smack him. All right. Takes you an extra five feet of movement to get off the table. And then that's 10, 15. All right. You get there. Good times. Next is the pirates. I'll try and make this quick. This <laughs> Seal one is... quality says Aaron's pebbles doing work. <laughs> <laughs> this one's got a disadvantage. This uh, one? Which one is this one? Uh, the one attacking Close. Skuna. Oh, the uh, fool. <clears throat> Fail. Ten. That was a miss. All right. Wait, hold on a second. Eleven. That was a miss. Uh, I believe. Let's take a look at Skuna. I don't remember what her AC is. Got to be better than eleven. AC is twelve. Ah. <laughs> okay. Way to go, Skuna. Mm. You've been sconed. Can we um, add her to our party? I think we're going to need her. Yeah. <laughs> Got some seduction coming on. All right. <laughs> this is coming at you, JJ. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, 21 for two damage. Only two. Yeah. Okay, well, I can handle it. It's a minimum damage. Yeah. It'll be fine. Come um, on, Skuma. And then I think that's that's it for, for those guys. Skuna's turn. She's going to probably kill this guy. Yeah. You know what? She's yeah. going to just barrel over this table and get right there. Yeah. So she's threatening them both. Nice. And she's actually going to swing at the guy who's been uh, threatening. Uh, yeah, that's Kozla. how you do it. Kozla. That's yeah. how you do it. Because, uh, you know, she's she's not too too dumb, but she's... <laughs> yeah. Here we go. 16 to hit. What that is a hit. for spells? Uh, um, I use, I've used both of my spells. I, have, oh, yeah. I use Sleep and Healing Word to heal uh, mm -hmm. Kozla. So on my next one, I'm going to kill him with Vicious Mockery is the plan. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, so even wait. though that guy was at full health, never took any damage from anything, one hit from Skuna, mm. and he is toast. What a yeah, yes. She, she is a good bouncer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's it for her. Dina. Does the captain uh, notice that almost all his men are dead? <laughs> um, perhaps. <laughs> Does he care? Uh, okay. I don't think he cares. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't think he cares that much about those guys. Let's take a look. He's too overcome by the odors that are coming off yeah. of his own body. <laughs> <laughs> and mine. Uh, yeah. I'm going to vicious mockery the one dude that I can see. Hey, buddy, remember how last time I called you an idiot, you broke down and hurt yourself? You're still the same dumbass. I hope you realize you're going to get dumber with the passing minutes. Fuck you. And I love how you have not, still not even entered the tavern. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> From outside the real estate. Yeah, imagine someone walking by, like, see yeah. this? Oh, he failed it. He did. He oh, did. you son Roll of a bitch. From downtown. Three. Three, three damage. And that's exactly how many hit points you got. Kiss my ass! Ha! And I can still move, right? Because I didn't. Um, because I want to be able to see Brad and hype him up with Bardic Inspiration. So can I get right on, like, right behind Skuna? That'll be perfect. Right behind her? Yeah, well, he's just close right enough. There? Yeah, yeah, because there's only one dude left. And, um. I'll just wait for Bardic Inspiration until it's time for it. Well, no, you, you oh. have to use Bardic Inspiration oh. in your turn as a bonus Oh, okay. Uh, Bardic Inspiration on Brad because my man's going to use him up. So th this is the first time you've actually used it. I'm pretty sure, uh, right? Uh, Nobody's got Bardic Inspiration. I, 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 I don't know if the last one kind of... I think that was the other Inspiration. So, yeah, yeah. this will be the first one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So just mark that you use one, and, Bam. and there you go. Bam. Oh, better use that in the that's next a, minute. Oh, yeah. I think yeah. it only lasts a minute. Okay. Uh, yes, yes, that's what it says. It says 10 minutes. 
Okay, ten minutes. Nice. Okay. Okay. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but my words will fucking kill you. <laughs> All right. Mm-hmm. That should be his motto. Who said bullying didn't help, guys? Come on. All right. You guys see the captain disappear up the stairs. Oh, no. no. Don't get an attack of opportunity. Uh, no, because you've jumped down to... Uh, Ooh, you hate to see it. Which to is, what, a five-foot level? Um, uh, and I get an extra five feet of reach. You do have reach! Oh, hey. that's right. Oh, yeah, yeah nice. Sure. Uh, yeah. He will have a call. plus two to his AC, though, because he's got that high okay. ground advantage. But go for it. Uh, 15. <gasps> his AC is 15 normally. Ah! Oh! oh. Is that um, with inspiration, or is that Did different? you add inspiration? You have inspiration, right, from Dion? I just yeah. the oh, I did. I, what, what do I have for that? Uh, D- D6? Six. Oh, yeah. uh, yes, it's one D6, and you can add it to ability, attacker, or saving. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. 16. I mean, uh, 21. 21. There you go. That's a hit. All right. Get him. Uh, Whoop that ass. What are you attacking him with? My short sword. Yeah. Stick it up his ass. And I get... Mm. Uh, I get my strength damage bonus on that? You add your strength, yeah, to the damage. 11. 11? That's what I'm talking whoa, about. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a short sword? How's it? it can't even do 11 damage. I got 6 plus my bonus, which is 5. That only adds to the attack roll, not the damage no, roll. Okay. I think it adds, doesn't say I thought it adds to the damage. If you want to go over the files, guys. Yeah. Just to, well, I just want to, I, I wrote it down, and I, I should totally be in charge of the litigation. Oh, right, right, right. I'm, attack thinking, rolls. I'm thinking of a, okay. a different yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Yep. This is the difference between attack and damage rolls. Yeah, but, there's another spell that adds both to, to both. No, but that's, don't I just get that? Oh, fuck, you're right. Yeah. yeah. You're talking about your hunter's mark. Yes. Oh, uh, okay. Yep. You well, are, uh, yep, okay. Yeah. Got it. Um, but I'm also talking about my uh, strength bonus. Yeah. So you add the right. weapons damage, which is a D6. Right. Hunter's mark, which is a D6, and then your strength bonus. Okay. And that's I actually it. got 14, then. Well, okay. So you, you roll 1D6 right. plus... Your strength bonus. Yes. And then you have 1d6 from uh, Hunter's Mark, and that's it. I got, I rolled a 6, plus strength is 9, and then I and then I rolled a 5. five. Alright, you got it. Alright, fantastic. <laughs> 14 damage. <laughs> Whew. Wow. That is killer. Clutch. Alright, he's... <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> he is still up, though, and he is fucking pissed. Uh, but he disappears... Um, I hamstrung him. him hey, we helped as much as we could. Yeah. It's up to her. <laughs> it's kidding. up to her now. <laughs> you know? She must have some skills. So. She could throw those loaded dice at him. She probably just, <laughs> she'd probably just leave and not tell us anything. <laughs> I have giant long arms. <laughs> like a gibbon. Yeah. Okay, so he has just started... You can hear, actually, the sound of pounding on doors and him yelling, oh. Tarina! Your time has come! Boy, he's awfully cocky for a guy who's going to die soon. Yeah. <laughs> That's fucking right! Yeah. All right, after the captain is, Jason? I'm running up those stairs mm. fast as I can go. Okay. I'm running up those stairs. Running up the stairs fast as you can go. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And my speed is... Uh, I have good speed because I'm a wood elf. Uh, where is it here? We, we you can also... Speed, uh, speed, speed. You can also try to push that, right? Different character sheet. On your yeah, movement? No, no. Uh, you, you can't move faster than your movement. Uh, 35 feet. Oh, good okay. footed. Okay, okay. I'm right there. You there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. and then um, yeah, I'm right there next to him, yeah? Uh, That's yeah. where he is? Exactly. Sure Shillelagh. Okay, go ahead and roll it. Is that oh, a wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, did oh. I, I haven't used both my level ones yet. No, you haven't. No. Entangle. <laughs> Ooh, oh, 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 Tangle is yeah. a crafty man. Okay, so Entangle is a big old AoE, I believe. For Cosmo. Mm-hmm. Uh, tell me what the uh, radius is. 20 foot square. 20 foot square, okay. Grasping vines and weeds sprout from the ground. All right. He's got to succeed on a strength saving throw or be restrained. So you slap a 20 foot square of entangling vines. Um, let's see. Are you impervious to it? Uh, no, I don't believe I am. Mm-hmm. I don't think I'm in, um, I don't believe I'm impervious on, of, of the, the difficult terrain. Well, just for time's sake, I'm going to go ahead and pick this 20 Perfect. foot square for you because that only hits him. Yep. Everyone else is fine. So at the beginning of his turn, he has to make a save or you have to do it now? Uh, a creature in the area when you cast the spell must succeed on a strength saving throw or be restrained. 
Oops. Until the spell ends. Okay. Fantastic. A creature restrained by the plants can use its action to make a strength check against your spell save DC. Okay. Strength saving throw right now. You got 12. Yes. Mine is 13. Mm. Fantastic. You restrained him. Hey. Unfortunately, he's right next to you. Do you remember me? <laughs> but he can't do anything about it. Yeah. That's actually really good. If he's restrained, then he's gonna have, he's gonna have a bad time. Do you remember me, stink butt? <laughs> <laughs> Arr, I should have killed you when I had the chance. <laughs> uh, Brad, your turn. Um, I am going to uh, switch to my bow, run up the stairs. No, I won't switch to my bow. Uh. I will run up the stairs uh, and stab the fucker. Yeah. With the, with the arrow hanging above his head. Sure. Um, so you are able to get to right behind Coslo. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. See that? Mm. Uh, but he is in your reach because of your bugbear. That's reach. right. Oh, <laughs> that's right. Hell yeah. Okay, here we go. You have advantage because he's restrained. Uh, no, no, uh, his in inspiration is gone, right? Uh, yeah, you used it. It's all, right, all one time. Two oh, dice. Two dice, Brad. Uh huh. Oh, oh when you. That. Yeah. All right, on this one then. Well, you still have to hit him, Brad. Oh, <laughs> what? Whoops. You have advantage on <laughs> We have advantage on roll, roll two twenties. Yeah. So we're trying and, to and your, and your damage, you might as well. Uh, yeah, I got, uh, 23. That is a hit. Oh, my pirate. Uh, 10 points of damage. 10 points. Mm. Oof. Mm. I think we figured out who the damage dealer in this group hey. is. <laughs> Outside of Schooner, that is, of course. <laughs> Minus 10. Yeah, she's joining the party. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fantastic. Next up is Aaron. I'm just going to move my 30 feet. Sure. And you're moving uh, up into the... Up towards the steps. One, two, so he three, can't even attack uh, when he's entangled? Uh, he can. He has, like he has disadvantage are... on okay. all of his... Gotcha. Pretty much everything. Um, you, you get to the bottom of the stairs, but uh, if you want to spend your regular action to move, you can move again. Oh, yeah, I'll move again. All right. Uh, 10, 15... Da, da, da. 20, 25. Do you want to get into like melee with them? Here, here. No, we'll I want to do ranges. <laughs> where can I? Where can I get into ranges position? There's, uh, there's not a whole rangy. lot of. Uh, kind of what you would need to do is you'd want to be. What does in he have left? You'd want to be in the square that Brad's in right now. Because you there can't. There's not room for two people on these stairs, though. No. No. Damn it. He can just like double move to squeeze past me. I think. Yeah, but then he would be in melee. How much move does he have left? He's got enough. Like to get in here? Oh, yeah, you could uh, you could get in that other room. Open the door and get in there. If it's, oh, if it could be locked. You don't really know. Uh, okay, but if I get within melee, is he, what's the deal with him? Is What is the disadvantage on his attacks? So he's restrained, which means that all attacks against him have advantage, and he has okay. disadvantage on all attacks. You would be in melee, so you would have disadvantage on your attack rolls. So attacking him would just be a straight die roll. I'm going to beat him down with my wrench. Mm. Okay. So get it into melee? Yeah. Bam. Yeah. Straight die roll. Here we go. Two dice, right? No, it's a straight I don't single get die roll. No, because you're in melee. Unless, Wait, are you doing a melee attack? Yeah. Oh. With my wrench. With your wrench, then you do have advantage. That's right. Yeah, baby. Natural 20. Ah, With yeah, a yeah, wrench! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, mm. All right, so a wrench counts as a club. Uh, D6 damage plus strength. Whoop that ass! Plus crit, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 2 D6 damage. Got no strength bonus. I rolled a 2. Come on, baby. Get it. Roll, Roll again. another one. Come on, oh, baby. Yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Five, so seven. Seven what damage. Take? Seven damage with the wrench. I just don't want to stay alive for a second long. That was honestly... Very unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> inspiration. <laughs> it was unexpected, but it didn't make me chuckle. So no inspiration. Oh. I farted while I was doing it. <laughs> hey. Now I've already given you inspiration. That, ah. That's a full action. Um, <laughs> for some people. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I like the fact that Jason cast Entangle inside and was able to only hit one guy. 
Yeah. And it has now proven to be this guy's downfall. Yeah. So inspiration for Jason. Hell yeah. Yeah. Inspiration. Inspiration. I totally thought that and didn't say it. Oh, you should have. It was really clever. It was super clever. <laughs> it's the cleverest. <laughs> uh, okay, so it was Aaron's turn. All the pirates are dead, so they're gone. Skuna's turn. Are all the pirates dead for real? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, they are. Skuna's like, all right, my job's done. And she walks over and she gets a drink from the bar. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, she ain't fucking going up them stairs yes. and getting involved in that craziness. Uh, okay, Dion's turn. Oh, Here's Christ. what I'm going to do. I'm going to go sit next to Skuna. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to... <laughs> sit next to her at the bar. Yeah, we, we did what we came to do. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a drink, and then I'm just, right before I end my turn, I'm going to send a message directly to the old dude upstairs and just whisper right into his brain, Die, bitch. And I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, well, let's, let's see. see. Oh, is he going to beg for his life or not? Uh, he is apparently a rabid lunatic. Yeah, great. I don't think that he surrenders. Let me just double check yeah. this real quick. Sorry, guys, but um, I'm out of his reach. It's okay. Yeah. He mm-hmm. might hit. Uh, he might hit the Bobby. We don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, it says nothing about him surrendering. Hey, and, fair enough. Yeah, and also you guys have been paid, or not paid, but you've been promised information by Tarina to make sure that these people never go after yeah. her again. So yeah. we're good. Yeah. Even if he did try to surrender, I don't. Think he oh, does. I didn't. So, I didn't say I would accept. So is it, <laughs> is it his turn? <laughs> it is his turn. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to give him disadvantage on whatever the fuck he's going to do. Yeah. How do you do that? With oh. my inspiration. Oh. Okay, well, he's going to try to free himself. So he's got disadvantage on a strength saving throw? Yep. Right? Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, we don't God. want him getting out of there the weeds. Is, but do it again. Okay, strength saving throw, disadvantage. Here we go. Got a 13. <laughs> oh! oh. oh. Well, wait a minute. Yeah. My, my uh, spell save DC is 13. So he passes. Uh-oh. Okay, oh, so That's what happens? action, right? I, that's yeah, action. that's his action. Yep. But he can move? Uh, so, a creature restrained by the plants can use his action to make a strength check against the spell save DC. On a success, it frees itself. But this is difficult terrain. Whew. Okay, well... Uh, and if he's moving out of there, we Aaron and uh, Dababi and I both get a, yep. uh, an attack of opportunity. He's apparently well, an insane man. 5, 10, 15, 20... Right. 25 30 as he desperately tries to get out. The Bobby and Coslo <laughs> both get attack of opportunity because he's yep, moving. That's Indeed right. You do. Indeed but not an advantage anymore. No. Yep. Well, that's okay. Yep. See, so yep. Both roll a melee attack roll. Oh. If I put this drink down, guys. I, uh, <laughs> I get the 12. What did he do? Oh, that is a miss. What? Uh, he used it. He, he oh, you did. I gave it. That's right. Yep, too. It didn't I quite. failed the Bobby. Okay. Yep. Well, uh, yeah, he's able to dodge those attacks somehow. Now he doesn't make it out of the entangle. So does he have to make another saving throw in his turn, or uh, creatures who end their turn in there? No, I think it's just still when the when the spell ends, gotcha. which is up to a minute, um, that the plants wilt away. I so mean, it it's, only, it's still difficult terrain. Yeah, but it only grabs people when it initially appears. Right. Yep. Okay. Got it. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. So after the captain is, do we see Tarina? Uh, no, you do not see her no. in this room. Okay. Um, you actually, the last time you saw her was in the Displacer Beast room, which she might still be. Uh, okay. So after the captain is Jason. Don't forget, this is difficult terrain. I know. I'm, I made it that way. <laughs> um, can you uh, can you unenchant it or? Uh, Make it go away? Or is, is it, it concentration? Permanent? It's not concentration. He cannot make it go away. Can I make it over to the captain and use my shillelagh? Yep. That's okay. 30 feet. Then I'll do that. But isn't it difficult terrain? It is. Yeah, 5, 10, 15, oh, yeah. 20, 25, 30. All right. I hope you enjoy stick in the face. Yeah. Uh, 20 to hit. Uh, yep. Dirty 20. And uh, the damage is... Dirty 20. Uh, <laughs> nine damage. Ooh. Ooh. Talk oh my god, he is so low. I know you guys can't tell, but he yeah. is... Oh, are we going to get him? <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I'm, I'm they're going to get him. I'm chilling, but I will come upstairs. I'm, uh... Brad's turn. I'm going to I'm gonna move up right behind Jason and attack him. Five, Just don't 10, get in my way. 20, 25. Get my yeah, way. Yeah, go for it. Uh, 
Uh, 13. Oh, that is a miss. I'm Boom. sorry, Glubjeg. <laughs> yeah, you reach your long, gangly arms, <laughs> and uh, he just kind of deflects it with his dagger. <laughs> he's pretty sure he can smell Tarina, and he's going right for her. If he can at least get revenge. It's up to you, Adasababa. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm going to try to burn him and then stone him. Burn him and stone him. Burn him and stone him. Okay. Um, he's got some cover from uh, your friends in the way. God damn it, friends. First? Yeah, I want to move where my friends aren't in the way. Okay. I would say that if you get here, uh, yeah. yeah, if you get there, there's no cover. Sometimes right. you want to go where your friends aren't in the way. <laughs> <laughs> We'll go do, through the do, 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 do. <laughs> And your rolls are all okay. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> all right, here we go. Producing flame up well, his ass. Is, that's a 16. Hit. Hey! Oh. Oh. Let's go. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. D8 damage. Hit him in the face. With the burn. Six plus, I don't think there's a bonus. There's there? no bonus. Six. Flames engulf him and burn away a lot of the greasy, oily snake guts, but he's, or fi uh, fish guts, but he's still alive. Arr! He's still alive. Arr! Pebble. Him. Pebble will finish him. Come on, Pebble. Come on, Pebble. Here we go. Big Pebble, big Pebble, no way, man. Fruity Pebble. Yes. Is that a 20? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fucking critting him. Roll your damage twice, man. Oh, my God. All right, do I get to add my spellcasting no. ability modern first choice? Okay, good. Sadly, no. That's going to be 10 points of damage. 10 get points. Get him a fucking pebble. Get yeah. him out of here. That does it. He's hey! Gonna... <laughs> I go, Lord, boys. We did it. And I just fall back into the vines. <laughs> 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 Christopher Walken here, asking you to subscribe to the Game Society Pimps. I got a fever, and the only prescription is more cowbell. That's right, make sure you ring that bell, or else you won't be notified of their latest videos.